lot's going on. All right. Hello, 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 hello. Happy Thursday. Is it a happy Thursday? Is everyone having a good Thursday? I hung three mirrors today so far. That's my that's my day. Pendle, you're amazing. With your finger on the button. You're the best, Pendle. You're having a good Friday, time traveler. Apple, you Aussie, I'm guessing. Time traveler. How many mirrors were cursed? Zero, luckily. Zero. Hey, so we did some things. We're gonna go over some of the things we did. Did a little mining off camera, as they say. Um, nothing, we didn't make any technical progress. I just cleaned up a lot of stuff. So for those who don't know, this is Satisfactory. It is a 3D automation game, very much like Factorio, but 3D and super cool and amazing and i'm totally addicted to it what's up Turk? how are you doing how's your face um so yeah i guess let me just give you a little tour of what we've done first and foremost i've i redid all the elevators and added a bunch more and more importantly aligned them with the sky factory aoc nerd thank you holy cow thank you so much vikendis thank you everybody thank you for the subs um, your face is tired? Yeah. 
Uh, high roll. That's gonna be tomorrow. We're doing uh, we're doing some phasma tomorrow at uh, noon Pacific, I think. Something like that. Um, anyways, I lined up all these elevators with the thing, and I added a bunch more. So I'm super happy with how this is actually like, you know, everybody everybody's uh, OCD can be can stop twitching now. So this is lined up now, and again we have like they're like grouped here. Like this is all. Uh, what is that? What is this? This is, no, this is all copper. This is all limestone, or will be limestone. This is all iron, and that's one coal line I added right now. So we have lots of resources going up into the sky. Stabby, stabby, tomorrow night, tomorrow night. Uh, might be a twist. Might be a little bit of a twist. We'll just say that. Uh, oh, before I forget, I also installed a mod to make it always daytime here, because watching at well as a player i like having the day night cycle as a viewer and for youtube and stuff it's yeah so we're we're, we're it's gonna be daytime all the time here which i think will be better for you guys you can use conveyor belts to go up and down hills while exploring oh you could like ride them yeah i mean if you want to lay conveyors everywhere uh so anyways yeah i also will go take a look down here if I can get past this. Grill, thank you. We're doing good, we're doing grill. Thank you so much for the $10, I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, everybody's doing good. There's some masks, there's presents everywhere. Uh, I updated my coal, La at the end of last stream, I added the first coal factory. We now have 12 coal factories, so I boosted that up a little bit because what we're gonna be doing today is gonna require a big expansion of power. So let me show you what we got going on down here. Hey, Prelude, how you doing? Music the cat, she is great. She is great. We're doing some cleaning of the bedroom and hanging mirrors in the bathroom finally, because we haven't had bathrooms. We haven't had bathrooms in our mirrors. We haven't had mirrors in our bathroom since we moved into the house, so that's a thing. Hey, Clara girl, Wel welcome. Okay, yes, this is absolutely the new addiction. Monk, <laughs> how are you doing, sir? Thank you. Did I miss you? Always, always, Monk. And Danny, thank you. How is ya? I am good. Uh, let me climb up my observatory tower here so I can show you guys what's going on here. I, last episode, I questioned why anyone would want to build these. I've since built two of these now, so, and it's just for this reason. So we've got six coal generators by six coal generators. So six by two here. So we have 12 of them, each one. Uh, we have four water pumps. Each water pump is feeding three coal generators and the coal line goes here and then you can see it loops around the back and is feeding all of the uh each of the coal generators with a splitter so it's, it's going to do these first ones first it's not perfectly balanced but this is the methodology i'm going to use kind of over and over again uh even in the base today so yeah it's actually really cool when you get like a nice little power area going here so we actually have a decent power situation going here and a little bit of room for expansion. I upgraded these tracks here. You can see those are uh, MK2 conveyor belts, Mark II conveyor belts, which are basically double the speed. Hey, noises. Did I get my coffee cup yet? I got coffee right here. Yeah, it's actually got coffee today. <clears throat> uh, so we have yeah, two coal miners merging into an M to a Mark II conveyor, Mark II all the way around. Um, but you can see we're not really we're still not getting enough this this conveyor is the bottleneck right now So I need mark three to do more, but I'm hoping that this Provides me enough power for today at least we'll see noises life is good uh, Right now we're pretty the, the the power we're producing is very spiky Which isn't great, but we're generally producing around 600 or so So quadruple what we're using right now. So I think we should be good Ah, uh, fashion. No, I'm not. A, I'm not a Caterium yet. I'm not even at steel yet. We're we're basically in tier three. We just got coal, and I'm finally gonna start working on the uh, the the real base up in the sky. I did a lot since last time. I mean, again, it was just like more of what I had in cleaning up or something. Not, I didn't like I said. I didn't really progress much. How long have I been live, Chess? We just went live like a few minutes ago, so we're good. This is still, I still got to redo this ramp to line this up with that, but whatever, it's not a priority right now. 
Um, so we have these three iron uh, extractors right now. They're going up those right there, and I'll show you what's going on up there. Over here, this is all temporary again. This is all just to get me going. This stuff will probably be torn down shortly. Um, oh, hi, Nuts. I also... There was another copper... Uh, uh, node right up here. So we have we have another copper node there and one here. So we're, we're double supplying our copper now and those are getting lifted up. So we have we have copper, iron, coal, and limestone all being lifted up to the top now for us to uh, start having some fun with. How do I find all these cool games? I actually spent a... I mean, well, this game... Everyone's seen this game, so I don't... I don't feel like I discovered this one. Uh, I spend a lot of time poking around on Steam looking for games to play solo, looking for games to play with friends. Um, I, I think I've seen probably every game on Steam. <laughs> All the games that are a legit game. Uh, have you given the concrete foundations in the store a try? It simplifies the cost. No, I haven't. Uh, Tornado, this is satisfactory. It is a 3D automation factory game uh, complete with Christmas wreaths on January 13th. So, you know, there it is. Master Magic, what about it, Mirax? I love it. I was playing that the other day. I played that as a ton when I was younger. And yeah, they have the classic and then they have the caster of magic, which is actually a, uh, a really good update to that. No one knows what I'm talking about, except Mirax and I. Let me fix my sound here. I need, I need new earbuds. I have to pick up another cheap pair. Broken Kind, thank you so much. After stream last night, you went to bed at 2 a.m. and you've been up since 8 a.m. Wow, that's not much sleep. Broken Kind, thank you so much. Get some sleep. And Ziggle, thank you for the two gift subs. Thrash Trash, thank you for 18 months. Foundations in the store make it only cost concrete instead of the plates. Okay. Uh, Zarthus, like I said, he must have just got here. I did add a permaday mod. I don't want to add any mods that change gameplay or make it any easier or anything. Um, so I'm not really too interested in game-changing mods, but this one I like because now it's daytime all the time, in theory. The, the, the sun shouldn't be moving, so it'll be bright all the time, which is good. Oh, Ak, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for the piece of pie. <laughs> what do you call a factory that makes... Okay products. Satisfactory. That's why they named the game that. That's not a joke. That's the game, man. <laughs> the game is a pun. Hey, Nate. How you doing? How's your new toy, Nate? Did you plug it in? I'm not going to lie. I was kind of jealous when I saw what you bought there. Looks cool. Ram, how are you? Discovery cues are funky sometimes. I've been looking at tabletop simulators for inspirational tabletop day. Still far out, but got a plan ahead. How you been? I've been great, Rem. I want to get back to uh, Tabletop Sim 2. I was really into it for like two weeks, and then I just kind of stopped. Oh, it hasn't gotten there yet, Nate. Of course, right? You just opened it. You just ordered it last night, yeah. Okay, so let me take a ride. Uh, we do have the awesome shop here. The only thing I think we bought out of here were ladders... Maybe something else? I don't remember. We're still using a ladder to climb up. Again, I, re I I tore all this stuff down and realigned it with the base up top, so it's all, to, it's all straight now and everything. So the goal today now is I, I've got lots of power. I've got all my resources being lifted up to the sky. We're ready to actually set up the base today. And I want to show you guys my plans. All you experts are going to be like, that's not going to work. You should blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. That's fine. I'm trying it my way. And I'll probably be wrong, and we'll see. Uh, but I, it's a plan that I th it, it, everyone's probably done this before already. I've never watched a single satisfactory video, so anything I do is at least from my brain, which is cool, probably for the worst. Um, but I think I have an idea that, pro again, probably isn't revolutionary, but I think might be interesting. We'll see. Uh, so anyways, this is what it looks like up top here. Uh, again, we have uh, copper there. We have limestone here. We have iron there. And I brought one extra coal node up here because eventually we're going to need coal for... Coal is actually used as a product and a couple things. I forget what it is. I'm interrupting your Halo Infinite campaign. Go play, Noises. You'll be fine. You can miss a stream, Noises. It's okay. 
There's another mod that hides the hand unless in use. That could be fun. Oh, maybe. Like that, things like that, you know, quality of life things. I don't know. It's fine. I kind of like the hand, honestly. Uh, so anyways, I set up this guy. The sink is in place and we, we, we banged out 15 coupons. Right, Chess? No. <laughs> Impossible. I've just been basically dumping all my iron ore into here now, which I know iron ore is like the worst possible thing, but whatever. I got 15, we got 15 coupons. The, the way, what this sink is, for those who don't know, it's this place you can just kind of dump any extra resources you want, and it generates these coupons, which you can use at the store down below, which I will bring up, um, and get some like cool upgrades and stuff like that. So that's just passively going. We got our space power of supreme awesomeness here. This thing is just amazing and huge and uh yeah there's that and we have to put things in here like this is our next milestone here we have to put in all this crazy stuff which is way beyond us right now so it's gonna be a while before we load up the next sky trip how do you get coupons yeah i just explained that i hope you I hope you got that tech you get coupons by well i mean i assume i can just hit the button here and it'll give me the, the coupons um, but again, we're gonna have a better solution and probably a series of these things to dump items into. Um, but yeah, you just, you just throw, shit, throw stuff into that machine and uh, it'll, it gives you, it gives you coupons. Okay. Uh, oh, I've also been doing um, concrete. So we have, we, have a, we have a full one of these of concrete and we're making more. So hopefully enough to build some stuff today. You can carry them to the store. Does it, so Fashion Act, does it give you an item, I'm guessing? Ram, thank you again. The new Settlers Open Beta starts soon. Oh, is it a... Rem, is it a game for Tabletop Simulator or is it a standalone game? Yeah, I like Settlers. Family loves Settlers. You get a stack of 15 tickets to your inventory. Okay, cool. Store foundations also have a have a sweet design. Okay. Oh, standalone, nice, Ram. Yeah, send me send me something. Uh, okay, so we have this presence all over the base. If, if anything, this sky platform is good at collecting presents. We made it. We made a present collecting farm. Uh, I'll get those later. Okay. How do I describe this now? I'll probably have to go over this multiple times. This right here is a little bit of the idea. Uh, and I had some other prototype stuff that I tore down. The foundation stuff is a big deal. So sh for this foundational stuff, should I get it like right now or just before I start laying more of this base out? I'm not sure. Yes. Yes to what? <laughs> Season 9 for <laughs> present farm, right, Danners? Yeah. Uh, I think so, Winter. I think so. I'm not sure what a universal item bus. I'm basically going to make a major artery bus, I guess, of all the items. And that, that is going to weave through my base in a linear spiraling fashion. And then I'm going to make a multi-floor tower. So let's see. Hold on. How do I describe this? Basically, there's going to be a giant square, okay? Make it four times bigger. Yeah, it's going to be... Well, it's, I'm going to go tall, too, Winter. I expect this thing to be like 10 stories. Um, because I think it's easier to go vertically in the game than it is horizontally. Once we get those hyper tubes, we can pop between floors... So I'm gonna do, a, each floor will be themed, but the idea is there's gonna be like a U on each floor and that U is gonna be this. If, if this was a line of the U, which is, these are basically ways of stacking a lot of conveyors together on these little conveyor towers. So you can get them all like nice and compact here. So imagine just all the things pushing down here. We got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by probably six or so. So we can fit like 50 items going down in this just like massive bus or artery of, of, of all the resources going. And the idea now is on the perimeter of that U, 
is going to be all my stations to do things, right? But everywhere I build along that outer perimeter of the bus, I'll have ready access to all the items in the game in a consistent fashion. So, for instance, if I need iron plates, I could just do this right here. Say, like, iron plates were coming in up there. I could just, like, pop this down here, pop this down here, and then do what I need with iron plates or iron ingots, we'll say, and then turn them into iron plates. And then I just push them back onto an available conveyor belt and the system carries on. So I think it'll be cool. There's probably some flaws. Uh, one of the flaws is there just might be too many items. Um, another flaw is I'm gonna probably have to have multiple conveyor belts for some of the really heavy items like screws or something. Um, if I had a diagram, It'd be much much easier to to show but like the the factory is probably gonna be like the factory starts like right here i mean we're talking this thing's gonna be huge what is warehouse 13 how that is have you ever considered designing your own game or mod pack i've done both <laughs> so yes so i think it might like come down like about this far and probably go So like, I don't know, it'll be a big square. Like, so it might be like from there to over here to over there. Uh, and then when we finish a floor, the same conveyors are gonna like come out here and then kind of go up a ramp right here. So like that might be the beginning of floor two. So they'll go up a ramp and then continue on and make another loop on the second floor. Do the exact same thing in your factory, Twitter do picks, okay. Three wide, 15 high belts. Okay, yeah, I'm going more wide. I'm going like eight by six, but we're in the same. Tellerine, we both have, you had 45, I'm have 48 slots. So that's about, we're in the same ballpark. Did it work out, Tellerine? Where are there things to show about when they hide all the relics and stuff? I don't know how the, I, I don't get you noises, sorry. If the if you experts have concerns about this design, I will listen to them now. In case I'm probably not going to change my mind, but at least it might allow me to prepare for something. Or if you have questions about what how it's going to work, are you sure you? Want, I don't want you to tell me how to play the game, but if you see like a major flaw, like obviously all these all these uh, conveyors will be upgraded as we go and stuff. Are you, I'm, I'm going to build a whole building around this too. And I actually someday want to make it look nice too. Like maybe put a giant TT logo on the side or something like that. Or <laughs> half the fun is tearing it down and building it. Yeah, I know everyone rebuilds their base. Yeah. A lot of people try the bus design and satisfactory. Yeah. Like I said, fashion, I don't feel like I'm breaking any ground here. I'm sure this has been thought of before. Um, it just seems ultra convenient to because when I played the game before, it was always like, oh, my iron's over there and my copper's over there. And now I got to spaghetti them together so that I can make something that requires both those here. It's like consistent. There's no you just peel off what you want. You put back what you want on and everyone's happy. But can we handle the resources going through or will lag become an issue? I'm not sure. Oh, my gosh. False with the raid. Thank you for the raid. False. Also, you enjoying your post-holiday time, I'm hoping, with the rate of 280 people. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. For those just joining, we're playing Satisfactory. Uh, it's like Factorio. It's a factory building game. It's amazing. It's a lot of fun if you're into that sort of thing. One problem might be scale as well. You need a lot of room at this game to require machineries. Yeah. Absolutely. How many uh, hours in? I would say we're probably, we've done two streams and a little bit out. So we're probably like 10 hours in. But a lot of that was just me like polishing stuff because I didn't want to make progress and stuff. But yeah, I'd say about, I'd say about eight or 10 hours in. Make the whole thing walkable. Yeah, I want to have like catwalks and stuff on either side of it and probably around the perimeter. Um, we'll see. Press escape for playtime. Well, that's a lot of, there's a lot of AFK in there. I was AFK and getting concrete and stuff. Hypertubes. Yeah, I know, Mark. I really want hypertubes. Are you still splatificating to get down? Yes, Mosul, I am. Until I have hypertubes. Uh, will this be a YouTube series? It's not going to be a polished YouTube series, but it, the streams are all uploaded to my second YouTube channel. So I encourage you to watch them there. 
Okay, so like I said, this is like how the main artery might work. Uh, we have some lifts there that will peel off. I'm, and I could fit another line of conveyors down here, but I'm intentionally leaving this empty for anything that is peeled off or put back on. So I need to leave all this open so that I can get the items off. The alternative is I could do this right here. This is like plan B or something. It doesn't look as good because it just clips, but it is more space saving, I suppose. Like I could just do that and then pull right down like that. Um, and then if that was the case, I could actually get, where is it? Um, logistics. Conveyor poles. Yeah, like I could put a conveyor pole in there and then we can run another. Whoops. Well, anyways, you could fit another one right through here. That is another eight items on ground level, which would be nice. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I should I go the ugly but efficient route or should I go with this? We'll, we'll call this straight conveyors and we'll call this uh, using lifters to get it out. Which do, you, which do you guys think we should do? Straight conveyors gives me more rows, but it doesn't look as good. Go with lifters. Lifters. Okay, seems to be unanimous. Make it look cool. Good, 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 good. Okay, yeah, we'll do lifters then. So like this, again, even this, there's a little bit of clipping, but at least it kind of looks semi-acceptable. There is... Um, you know, it does clip a little bit right there, but I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, oh, wait a minute. So that actually is still clipping through there. It's actually pulling off of that one. Wow, I didn't realize that. So it does require a lot of space. There is some clipping there, but at least it still stays like orthogonal and straight and everything. So we'll go with that. All right. Get rid of this guy then. So, uh, first of all, I got to ask myself, is this where I want to start the base now? Because it's so dense, just like me, Fashnik, just like me. Um, all the resources are coming up there. We're going to have more stuff coming up, of course, later, like quartz and Caterium and aluminum, I think. And I'm not sure what else. Um, I'm hoping to bring up more over there, but I want to leave plenty of space to merge or split or do whatever I want with these... Uh, with these source lines, so I think I probably want to start my factory if this is copper here You know what maybe this is that's the first wall right there actually Maybe this is the entrance in and all this stuff is temporary not temporary But like I could chop this up and these will be feeders in but this will be where it all starts right here That makes sense, so we're gonna go that way really far, okay Sulfur, need TNT. So yeah, there's TNT, or there's a uh, gunpowder in this game, right? What is it used for? That's I I might need some of this. What is that building with the white chimney? Uh, building with the white chimney. That? I'm not sure what. <laughs> Making things go boom. Yeah. Okay. Blowing stuff up. Yeah. Rifle cartridges. Oh man, having guns would be super nice. Okay. So a lot of building today, a lot of factory laying out. Rifle is nice for local wildlife, yeah. So I would say like this line right here, probably iron ore. Right? So let's build. It's gonna be a lot of building today. I hope it doesn't get boring because it's gonna be a lot of repetitive stuff. Uh, all right, so you hold control, you get that nice line there that shows that it's being lined up. Put that there. Let's see if we can carry a conveyor that far. Maybe. Hello? Conveyor? Wouldn't click. Why is that yellow? Why was that yellow? Didn't seem to be colliding with anything. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Oh, because nothing's hooked up to it. It'll change directions when I hook it up to something, I think. Is 
<laughs> you have to eat a pepper every conveyor. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of like every time I want to grow the factory, it's like, okay, 48 more conveyors. Yeah, it won't change directions. Ooh. So. All right, well, let's do this then. Let's go grab some of our our. I mean, again, I'll probably make this look neater eventually, but let's break that. Grab you. Carry this over. Space is the best resources there is. I know diagonal, right? Uh, again, this is we're just getting it over there for now. Eventually, I'll have all this stuff lined up nice and neat, but that's not a pro that's an off camera thing. So let's kill that. Kill that and then take. We don't need that. We don't need that. That was a sample. Can we get that to go? Oh, it won't. OK, so now I have to break this because it was going the wrong direction, right? That. Now that and I don't like that that's yellow overlapping other things. Clipping may occur. OK. Changing directions after building, it would be nice, right? Like if I have a conveyor belt running this way and I put something in this way, but this one's just freestanding, it should just turn around and be like, oh, I see what you meant. Okay, so we're good there. Clipping maker is such an engineering warning. Yeah. You might want to leave one spot empty between belts. Why? That would great. That would double the width of my of my bus line. I mean, it would look better because then some of the like these things wouldn't clip as much, but I can't afford to double that. I think that's too much. Better overview into it would look better. Yeah, but I, well, I don't want to double the height either because like that's already the height of one floor, which is way taller than any machine is, I believe. It's taller than constructors and assemblers and manufacturers and stuff, I think. So that feels like a good height. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I don't I don't want to have all this just dead airspace. So there are bigger. What's a bigger what's a bigger machine? What's a taller machine than that? Refineries. Oh, right. Well, refineries is power, right? Oh, no, wait. What is it? Oil goes into the refinery and then out comes the plastics and stuff. Is that right? Refineries do more than power. Okay. What's up, Pebbles? How you doing? Okay. Well, so maybe there's one section that I, I don't, I like to, I omit this and it goes double the height. I just kind of leave the floor out and that's a that's like a vaulted ceiling kind of section of the factory that uses two floor cells. I think that might work. You can get foundations with hole in them. Yeah, I want foundations with holes in them for ladders and things like that. But again, later. OK. So. That basically means, oh, by the way, what is it? X. This is cool. I was looking at this off camera too. There's all sorts of color stuff here. Like you can change the default colors of all your foundations if you want. Uh, hang on. No. No. Uh, X. How did I do that? Default. Uh, oh, I have to hit edit. Right. So now if I wanted to like make my entire factory be, you know, red or some or some very tango-y color like that. Boom. That's super cool. I like that. Do we like that? And you can do it for like walls and stuff too, I think. So I might I might just leave this. Knowing later on though, I think there's a way also that you can like use the custom swatch and then paint individual tiles, different colors, I think. Mark locations with for constructors, the one color. Well, Mark, yeah, that's kind of why I'm getting this because I'm not going to do it per constructors and stuff. I'm going to do it per <clears throat> like this is where I smell iron. This is where I make iron plates. 
this is where I make iron rods, right? I want to color the floor different there or at the very least have like, isn't there that? Yeah, where's the textures? Oh, not that this is important, but like they have like that yellow and black stripe warning textures. Oh, materials or do I have to unlock this stuff? Because it would be cool between each section of factory areas. I had like a border decals. I don't know where that is. Mostly in the store. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get that. We'll get all that stuff later. Okay. So we got our iron ore. There it is. So now what we want to do, we want to, the first thing we want to do is smelt ore into iron rods. And this is, this is going to be huge. Probably 20 to 30 smelters all chained together here, <clears throat> which I won't be able to handle now, but I want to build it big enough so that as these upgrade and as these turn the Mark four, Mark five, conveyors that it will grow with it and support, you know, whatever I throw at this thing. You won't want to go back and redo the colors after you build a factory. So do it during. Okay, fair enough. But I got to start unlocking all those cosmetics from the awesome shop, right? It's not too expensive. Oh, the other thing too is, so as this is spiraling through my base, anything at the end, everything that's left on the buses will go over to a storage facility, which will probably be over there or something. So anything that isn't used and comes out of the factory is a product or something that wasn't used and it'll automatically go into a massive storage area. So we'll have a day where we build that whole thing probably. Right, I'm, and having an awesome sink for all of this this main bus line is going to be key so everything will be funneling into that in theory we'll see well i'm sure there's going to be mistakes but you have a dedicated limestone factory being processed and going straight away uh no, i have a dedicated i mean this is i only have four constructors lined up right now but we have concrete being made it's not efficient or anything yet but it's just to get us going and then one of the things in the factory of course will be the limestone factory okay so let's see this will be slow as i try to figure this all out so we'll grab splitter and again i could just run a conveyor down but to be consistent we'll, we'll say we're always going to use lifts uh so like that Oh no, I guess we have to use conveyors because we can't even fit a, we can't even fit a, what do you call it here? Is that going to work over here? Hold on a second. Uh, where did I go? I should put this on my hot bar. We'll make this. Oh, it is on my hot bar. Good thought. So I want it to come out like right there. So, okay. Anything on the bottom tier? I think we're just going to... Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do... Anything on the bottom tier, we're just going to conveyor straight down. I think that's perfectly fine. Smart splitter is far away from me, yeah. You won't be able to drive under it. I don't plan on driving through my factory. I should build an MK2 stuff. I don't have, uh, what do you call it? I don't have reinforced plates being automated yet, so I can't. Did you not get your cart yet? No, I don't have a cart. Am I going to be driving a cart around my factory? <laughs> I, I want this now. Where do, where do I get this? <laughs> you need the factory cart. <laughs> Skippy the Wonder Truck doesn't drive through the factory. Ah, oh, it's in the awesome shop. Okay. I will derail, see what's going on. Uh, I guess we should, now there's no harm for me to just pick up coupons at any time, right? It saves progress and everything, I assume. Print coupons. Bloop. The little piece of paper comes out. That's cool. I'm a fan of that. 
Uh, we should probably bring the awesome shop back up up here because this is going to get tedious real quick. I have 15 because I've been le I've had my ore uh, loading into it for quite a while now. All right. Uh, what did I come down here for? Awesome shop. Okay. Equipment, parts, foundation, fix it specials. Fix it factory cart. <laughs> Look at the little guy. Meep, meep. <laughs> Is this what I need? Is this what you guys are talking about? You can build several shops and links. They link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is totally not what I should be buying, but I think we need it, right? Give me, give me a sense of how many coupons am I going to be generating once we have a really good factory going? Am I going to have dozens of coupons or a thousand? Just so I know I'm going to have a thousand. Hundreds. Okay, cool. But, but cart, says Pebbles. All right. Put that in the cart. We'll buy it. Buy all. Ah, does it go from the equipment thing now? Factory cart. Uh, what is that? Two rotors. I can, I can auto craft a rotor. Uh, or not. Need screws. So concrete is three times better than ore. At what? Okay. Do I put this in my hand now? <laughs> uh, go. Why do I feel like if I get in there, I'm going to fall through the world? I think it needs to go on a factory floor, right? It's not off-road. Okay. Uh, how do I pick it? Oh, I just hit. Do I just dismantle it? Oh, but now I probably don't have one, right? Or did it give me the thing back? Oh, it did. Okay. All right. We'll put that on. <laughs> I love the sound effects. Okay. Let me, uh, let me check out. Everyone's barking about... Uh, foundations or something. What do, what do I want here? Nothing. I only have five more tickets. Concrete foundations. Don't have them. Customizer. Concrete foundation. Oh. This has got to hold it. This is literally different, right? It's like... Hold on, how much is a... So these, one of these is five concrete and two plates. And they got all this extra business on it. Is it the same size? Because we're going to be building a lot of these things. Asphalt. Same size. So it just looks smooth, basically, right? Like, I, I, we're going to be doing a lot of factory floor here, so I'd rather not tear it up and do it later. So it seems like, and I've already done too much. I, I wish I knew about this. You can convert it later easy. Don't I have to re-go through and zoop everything again? You can mouse over it. Okay. So can I wait on this then? If it's that easy, I like the idea of it, but then if it's not urgent, I'll just resoup later, right? We can wait, I think. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and take this with us. 
and go up. Remember, never don't zoop. <laughs> if you're not zooping, you're failing. I know, I don't know. Hypertubes are really what I want. Because a lot of the factory, I want to have hypertubes between floors so that I could just be like, bloop, 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 up, up each floor. And as, so it's almost like an elevator. And then as I get to each floor, there's a sign right there that's like, copper and copper products, bloop, steel, steel products, you know? So that I know what floor to get off each time. Bounce pads aren't going to get me up high enough. Oh, you think bounce pads between floors? Uh, well, that's interesting. Maybe I should be considering how high a bounce pad bounces me, and maybe that should be the height of my floor. Will a bounce pad bounce me that high? I forget how high they bounce. I felt like it was about that high. You chain them. Well, I was thinking of using tubes, but pads are cheaper. I have them now. Can I actually build that now? Transportation? I mean, I could, but that's more squirreling. First things first. <laughs> I love how the window falls out. All right, here we go. Me, me. Oh, he turns on a dime. This guy is cool. Right click. I'm right clicking. Look at me in my little Santa hat. <laughs> oh, we need to make a race course. This is fantastic. Oh, this guy turns good. Oh, and he osmosis through packages. Left click. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's fun. I love that, I love that they intentionally just made it like short and, and like just derpy and I'm all hunched forward in there. And it's playing ice cream truck music. Chris, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. That's fun. Yeah, can we catch some air with this thing? It is Jingle Bells, you're right, yeah. This thing corners like a dream. <laughs> this is so amazing. Drive off the edge for sight. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, I'm not a very good driver. Do donuts. That's my turning radius right there. That's pretty good. Okay, maybe we'll play with the, with the truck more later. How do I get out? Q? No. Oh, autopilot. Oh, that's for the trucks and stuff. Oh, I could program this guy? Interesting. Uh, how do I get out? Less. Uh, how do I get out? E, okay. All right, you be, be a good boy. We have, we have things to build. Okay. Or smelting. It leaves little tire tracks, I know. <laughs> You're not trapped forever. <laughs> it's got a storage interface. I remember like trucks and stuff had... This doesn't seem to have one though. It should have a little toolbox built in. Show hide path, load, open... Uh, no. Just on trucks, yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, is my my factory is straight. That's the important thing. This is not straight, but we'll move that in a second. So, smelters. Production, smelting. It has one little storage space. <laughs> I don't even know where you would click on it. One in the back? So is it like a joke that it's got a little storage? I don't even see where to click on it. Anyway. Uh, okay, now these guys, if I remember correctly, 
they can churn out 30 iron per minute. And correct me if I'm wrong. Well, help me out, I should say. Those of you that are experts. I want to say Mark IV conveyors can do 420 per minute. Is that right? 480, is it? 480, okay. You guys are also good at this. Little present explosion. All right, so 480 divided by 30. Brr, 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 oh, 16. So that means I would need 16 smelters to handle one Mark IV line. Are there Mark Vs yet? Conveyors? They do 720, I think. Is it 780? William, I'm planning ahead, of course. I, I know it's down the road, but I don't want to have to come in and, and redo my smelting facility. I want to know how big it needs to be. So 780. Okay. So let's say I had two Mark V iron ore lines coming up. Well, refineries are going to be another floor. I'm starting. I'm, I kind of ordered my resources in the order that I need them so that anytime I need something to construct something, that thing has already been done. So we're going to do like bottom floor is going to be like iron, uh, iron ingots, iron rods, iron plates, screws. Second floor might be copper ingots, uh, wire, cables, uh, sheets, that kind of thing. Third floor, uh, you know, probably limestone. Um, all the all that stuff, right? We're building our way up the dependency chain. I don't know how big each one of those are going to be yet. That's what we're going to figure out. But write this stuff down, or going. I've written some stuff down, and I probably, knowing me, I'll have spreadsheets eventually. But now i don't need to build all the smelters now i just want to know how many smelters i'll probably need at the end game so that i can make this area big enough for it <clears throat> fifth floor men's outer area. yeah yeah monk you don't want that many smelters just overclock them well overclocking requires a lot more power right i mean with with everything else being equal isn't it better to have I'm just throwing numbers out, you know, 20 smelters at normal speed than it is to have 10 at overclocked at double speed. Causes less lag. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. Correct. Well, everyone just said correct to to which question? <laughs> What's up, Sleepy? How you doing? I mean, that's a valid point about lag, though. If if every smelter is overclocked to 200%, it does save lag, and lag is going to be a problem, or just frame rate, whatever you want to call it. Better to have more machines than overclocked machines? Really? OC is more power intensive. Right, 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 right. But am I... On one hand, you could say, oh, overclocking is better for lag and, and CPU performance of the game itself at the cost of having to have a lot more power. Or you could say, you know what, it's more efficient power-wise to just have more smelters. I could see both arguments. Overclocking takes a ton more power. Yeah, so... Autobot, you're saying... So you're saying overclock everything, Autobot. It is exponential. Yeah, I know. But, like, if I just wanted to go 200%, like 2x... For power, we're going to have a completely off-site power factory. Like, I know once I get to oil, that's going to be a huge deal. Lag isn't a big issue in single player? Okay. So, then, doing a little bit of math, if we have the Mark Vs for, what, 780 or 720? <clears throat> Plan less, build more. 780. All right, if we had two of those, that's 14. That's what? That's 1560 iron ore coming in per minute. Divide that by 30. That's 1560 divided by 30. It's a lot. Let me get my calculator. 1560 divided by 
30. That's 50 smelters. Yeah, that's a lot of smelters. So maybe we don't plan for that many. <laughs> Honestly, I was thinking... 30 to 50 in that range. 30 to 40. Plan for it. So, anyways, let's start... <laughs> Look at this little guy. He's so great. He makes me so happy. Yeah, Revenge, the game's great. Uh, you're going to have so much more unlocked. Lots redundant. Overclock a couple of them. Press N to use in-game calculator. That's a dirty lie. What? Hi. Oh, neat. Oh, that's good to know. So I could just be like, oh, what's it take to make a rotor? Right. Bam. That's cool. That's super handy. It does the math too. Iron ore, iron raw, no iron ingot. How, where does it do the math? Type numbers. What? Oh, you could just like, it's a calculator. Oh, okay. That's cool. It's just a built-in calculator. All right. I mean, I have a calculator right over here too, but noises, thank you. You worried about frame rate in single player game? <laughs> noises, thank you. You're determined, my friend. You're determined. Pun, did you hear, hear about the fire in the shoe factory? Many souls were lost. <clears throat> souls. Souls. Souls were lost. I'll just take a drink over here. Okay, so uh, we don't want this first. We want to get, and I know this is the part where everyone's going to bark at me, and that's okay. We're going to have a little discussion about how I'm wrong, and that's okay. But we'll get there in just a second. Let me get uh, a little conveyor bowl here, and we'll do skadoodle. Break that. This to there. Okay. So now, I can take this guy, and I know this is only a Mark One. Do I have what kind of what kind of? This has got to be a Mark Two at least right now. I mean, we're gonna have to, right? Well, that's only a Mark One, so this is this is pointless to make this. Well, we're gonna have to upgrade the whole thing later. Let's just get him in now. It's not hard to upgrade conveyors later. All right, go. Now you are going to come down super, super, super far. Keep it straight. How far do you go? Right there. Boom. Okay. Time to automate reinforced plates. I got to automate iron ingots first. We got a lot of stuff we got to do first. All right. So here's the process. We grab a splitter. The splitter goes into the smelter we want to get this stuff pretty compact here so hold control line it up hello can i get that closer no red it's not straight it's to the left that line says it's straight right there but it does look to the left right what is it lining up with oh there we go bam okay Rotate the splitter. Splitter straight. Oh, 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 did I put the splitter on the wrong side? Okay, gotcha. Sorry. That's what you guys are saying. Uh, we're good. Right? In there, out there. Right, and then we just do that. Oh, did I turn did I turn this the wrong way? Small this backwards. Okay, I figured I figured as much. Boom, boom. There we go. Okay. Short little line between there and there. Good. Okay. So that's the process. And now we need a merger over here. Up, 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 organization. No, I already have it. It's on my bar. Eight. Merger goes zoop, zoop. Like that. Thank you. 
and you go in there. So that's the process. I could probably squeeze those in a little bit tire a little bit tighter, but it's fine. It's fine. Thank you for playing Dyson Sphere program. Yeah, I have. Uh, I was addicted to it for about 48 hours, and then I moved on. I still like it. I would love to go back to it. If I had oodles of time, I'd be playing it to death. Yeah, it's a really fun game. If you like Factory, you should definitely be checking out Dyson Sphere program. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much it. And then this line goes down the whole way too. Bam. Factorio is still the greatest one. I don't know. I never really got into Factorio. I think to me, the 3D is just makes it so much more fun. Right? We're good. We're good. Okay. So that's the problem here. <laughs> nice whisper. Uh, yeah, Zing. I totally like this is. And, and I was thinking about this the other, the other night, last night, I think. When they started making Satisfactory, they probably had to have a discussion about scale. The scale is really identifying to this game. I'll, I'll be honest. When I first loaded this game up back in when it just came out of an early access two, three years ago, and I made my first machine, I was blown away at how huge it was. I was like, what? Because most games would have made like I played a lot of like Fortress Craft, right? And it was the same kind of game like this, except the machine was like a little tiny block on the ground, right? And that's an interesting, interesting decision. It changes the whole feel of the game. Like now you're in the machines instead of kind of surveying the machines. In this game, you need a lookout tower to see what's going on. In games like Fortress Craft, you could just stand there and see it all, right? So it's a very interesting decision. And I think they made the right one. The scale here, making everything really big makes the game more interesting and you feel more in it then less god mode more in the game it's really cool have you played every zactronics game nope i don't even know what that is uh check the width at the end of the conveyor to see if it fits uh i mean i could throw one in now but this is temporary um i could just do that i can do i gotta get in the habit of doing that you middle click and you could steal things like in minecraft it's so nice uh, 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 uh. Do the clicky clicky. Right. Oh, man. I got to get better at lining things up. I struggle with this. Like, I'm holding this. The line's there. Okay. I think I got it now. There we go. Right. He's there. And then we would have a merger ish right here. Do like that. And then he goes, eh. It does feel tighter right there, though, than it did down there. Where was, How is there twisting? It was all aligned. Do you use the control key? Yeah, I do. Is this crooked? Oh, it looks straight. And that one is straight. Must be my head. Well, look how much space there is here, though. What did I do differently? Oh, I moved the... I moved this guy back more. The input is longer. So, therefore, the output is shorter, I think. You think the input belt is twisted? Uh, oh, it is. It is. Because look, yeah, over there, it's right up against the line. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, I'm glad we tested that. I probably wasn't holding control on that. Ah, okay. Right. And now if I do splitter... Blah, 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 blah. Splitter on that. No. I do it wrong again? Or is that one not aligned, maybe? I know, it's still not straight. It's It's this guy down here that's wrong, right? Obviously got to get this right. Something is off. Yeah. Like that. What if I... Maybe I just align my splitters first and then hook the conveyors up to that. 
So what if I just do this? No way. <laughs> One of these times I'm gonna like spleef myself by breaking the floor. It's just a matter of time. So that looks straight. Mark 1 does look, it is slow. I, I totally, even now I think it's slow. Right? Boom, 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 boom. These look straight now, I think. So now we can go, give me that, put it right there. That goes there. That feels about the same there. Let's get a merger. This probably needs to be a little bit longer. Oh, I should do this the same way too. Get rid of these things. Ooh, ooh. Is, it, is it rotated again? Is it the wrong way? We're good, right? Yeah, it's the right way. What's up, Blue? How you doing? Okay, so I want to have this guy now. He is kind of just over the edge there. But if I hold control, yeah, it's snapping. Boom. Okay, that's good. Excellent. I think we're good now, right? We're good? Place down a foundation somewhere and then press control. What? Nine. I'm holding control. Is that what you want to see, films? What's what's to see? Just something I'm not understanding. Okay. How is the ground red? I made a little uh, tint. You can hit X and I changed the color palette. Because why not? Uh, okay, so... I want to do... Uh, what is it now? Uh, middle, let's click, right? I want to get these guys all snapped in line. That's satisfying. Yep, and this guy, we knew he was going to be temporary. Okay. This is going to be cool. Uh, uh, you, more... More. More. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen in a line. And we're gonna do two rows. Let's do let's do fifteen and fifteen for now. It's gotta be on brand, absolutely, yeah. Uh so let's get two more of these guys. Right? That's 15 now, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Uh, 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 let's do... Get rid of that. Now let's line up all the splitters. Coming in the right way. Yes. So we, we want to do this now. You see those two lines there? That means it's lined up with the other splitter and with the smelter. I want to make sure I see both those lines like that before I place it in. Yep, everything's good. And then we'll add the, uh, we'll add the, what do you call this later? Boom, boom. Boom. This is the part of the game that's just so satisfying. Planning out something large scale and then hooking it all up and then watching it work. Greatest thing. Okay. So, that's good. Let's get the. Sure, smelt a lot. Yeah. Oh, hi, present. What? I was. I was playing again off camera and one of the things landed next to me and the woman talked and she's like, here. It says something like, here's a present for you. It's iron ingots. And that was it. And I kind of chuckled. <laughs> like, 
the worst possible present ever. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard her like talk when a present comes down? I thought that was pretty funny. It's probably easier. Yeah, it was easier to lay this so I don't have to go back and do all the individual conveyors later. Oh, well, lesson learned. Oh, I'm doing these all backwards, right? Uh, oh, no, we're good. We're good. As long as the blue arrow's pointing to the right. Yeah. I hope it'll be basically awesome. I hope it will be, too. Will I get to the, you know, what I'm envisioning in my head is the real question. It's going to take a lot of work. But I plan on playing the game a lot over the next couple weeks, so... Boom. Those lines are so helpful. Uh, odd question. Are you on the bell? If that issue were pointing to the ground, maybe? I mean, I hope that's... It seems like the belt is working there. Oh, wait. Okay, so now... And that's an unfortunate side effect, but whatever. It'll just be a pain to upgrade, right? Because when I pre-place the belt... Is that... I mean, that is on the belt, right? Are you telling me these aren't all... Is it because it's showing one long belt? Does that mean that my splitters... My, uh... Mergers are not correct. They didn't link to the belt. Ah, so I got to do these all again. Yeah, it's glitchy. Man, it was snapped right on there. Maybe it is better to not have the track there and add the track later. Wicked. Yeah, you got to play it. Crimson. No, I'm not. Better to place the mergers first. Yeah, I think... All right. And I know there is multi break, but I'm always afraid to do that. Like it's very finicky. You can accidentally like destroy. Like I almost accidentally destroyed my space elevator before. Okay. Easier to play splitters first. Uh, well, I already did put the splitters first. M mergers, I mean, in which case I'm doing that now. Right, so this guy is going to go... I probably could go right there. Why not? Right, that's, it's kind of, it's yellow, it's kind of overlapping, but... I'm okay with that. It's nice and cozy. Let's, let's go with that. So now, boom... Boom. Right? We're good, right? Why did I destroy the mergers? Well, I'm they're, I'm, I'm putting them in a better place now, I think. They've gone to a better place. How do you do that cool slide action? You mean strafe? I feel like I'm messing these up again and I'm probably going to have to place them all again, but that's fine. Boom. Okay. It was a rite of passage. Right, Jen? You can place just one of the two on your hop bar and hold E to change between them. Splitters and... Oh, hold on. Oh! Check it out! That's cool. A little pro tip there. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so now we got to hook up all of these. This is going to be tedious. Yeah, I learned when I was placing the elevators, I realized there was like a reverse, which was really helpful too. There's a lot of those little like quality of life things they did that are really, really helpful. Assemblers and smelters. Okay, cool. Yeah, see, there's all this stuff I got to learn. Honestly, just the middle mouse click is a huge time saver. Like, I don't need to hotkey nearly as much stuff now with middle mouse click, which I like. Okay. A 
alt wheel up down, you get 10 bars. Oh, of the, uh, yeah, 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 I know. I knew there was multiple bars. Um, honestly, it feels a little cumbersome to use that, but I get it. I'll probably be using that later. Oh, that one feels... Oh, that's right. Do I like playing Skyrim? I've never really played Skyrim. Skyrim's one of those games... I always wanted to play. I never allowed myself the time. Um, yeah. I would probably really enjoy it. Okay, so we're good there. All right, we gotta add all these now. The back seating would be insane at this point. Oh yeah, yeah, I totally. Any game that's that popular and that old. Yeah, to stream Skyrim as a complete noob right now would probably be really painful. So yeah, that's not happening. Whoops, did I get it? Okay. Excellent. Now these guys, we're getting there. And again, this is this is massive overkill for what we need right now. But it's not even half of what we're gonna build in the long run. So I just want to get the space done now. Even though this is like expensive for resources for me right now, all this is all cheap stuff. This is just plates. Okay. Um. Now, power, I want to be organized with power, too. I think I like the option of using those wall power nugget things and sending those so that all the walls are powered, but I feel like I'm going to need poles out here as well. Two machines per pole. Yeah, the wall outlets I like, but I don't think that'll be enough because, like, what we just built here, we're going to build this whole thing again over here so that means the wall is going to be like over here oh they attach to the ceiling too and now the walls are basically oh no you still need to connect the wires though right like walls are not conductors walls just hold these things right So I'd still, if I wanted them on the ceiling, I would still have to run wires from the wall to the, like, where's, like, I could do this, right? Uh, does this guy rotate? Oh, he doesn't go on the floor. It doesn't go on the floor. Okay. Interesting. I guess their argument is then just use a pole. Use the single. Poles look cool. Yeah, I think as long as you get poles in the right spot. Uh, eh. Like if I do one pole, so I want to have space for a catwalk right here. Use a single nub. Still doesn't go on the floor though. So you can hide wires and power in two hive. Oh, interesting. Two high floor foundations. So you're saying if we go that guy, we can run the wires through there. That's interesting. <laughs> I do mean a cart walk. Exactly, Doc. Yeah. And then I mean, we could put the nubs there. I know, Yaman. I know. That's that's what I want to get. I want to just have power outlets everywhere. What I did with my uh, create mod base was amazing. I missed that. All blocks are, are transparent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wires and stuff can go through here. So, for instance, if I did 
that, I could now connect that to that, right? And those are connected now, power-wise. And that, if my floor, it doesn't work on, hold on. I'm guessing we can't get them on, but you can get them on these guys now. Can we just do it on single floor? Why does it need to be double? Will the, will the wire show? Cables can be long and, you'll, and they'll start to bow and you'll see the cables poke through, I think. So maybe like my ground floor is, is single is these guys, but maybe my divider floors, these are doubles and I run power through there. Oh, you're saying make the cat. Well, the catwalk was going to be like an actual catwalk with like special architecture blocks and stuff that have uh, wire floors and stuff. I don't think you could put these power things on that. The cart walk. But. I can put them on. I, I don't know what the pieces are yet, though, so. Like, I don't know what the catwalk's going to actually be. The cart walk's going to be made out of. I have to say the right word. How bad do we think poles will be? Like, if I just went, you know, pole every two machines. Like that. I don't feel like that looks that bad. Yeah. Poles are fine. Uh, wait a minute. I'm being stupid. You. You. Oh, it doesn't change. I thought it chained them. I have to re-click again every time. Interesting. I thought it would, like, keep it. Uh, uh, oh. Uh. Is that one off? That one's off. Unacceptable. It's gotta be in one right there. Yeah, that, I feel like they should chain and I, it should automatically have one loaded up for me. Oh well. Keep forgetting to re-click. Okay. Boom. <laughs> have a pole on poles. <laughs> I see what you did there. Okay, so we got that. Let's get this hooked up. And again, how power gets in here, this is, this is, this is anything, anything outside, anything to the left of this, anything over here, temporary, anything to the right, permanent. That's the plan. But I really like those wall outlets. They're super cool. <laughs> that was amazing, Genesis. Uh, okay, so... You. What's up, Pinner? How you doing? So I'll just stick this right there for now. And then let's see. The first one of these would have been like right around. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Sounds good. Okay. And now you connect to that. Excellent. Everybody's powered up. You got plenty of oodles. Okay. Now we do that. It's probably easier to do this from out here. Each one powers two. I underestimate how long it takes to actually set this stuff up. Today I was like, all right, we'll get all of iron and rods and everything all being automated. We'll get the second floor built. We're going to barely have this working. Okay. So that's good. Let's set them all. Oh, wait, isn't there a copy settings? Can I mass paste now? Is there a way to like just quick run down the line and 
I guess that's pretty much it, right? Just keep doing that. It's not bad. Good. So basically setting all of our smelters, telling it to say, hey, you're making iron ingots. Control C, Control V. That's a dirty lie. So we've got 15. I want to, like I said, I got another plans for another row back here. So that'll be another 15. That's 30 iron ingot smelters. That should be good for quite a lot of stuff. Okay. So tower. This is the part I want to kind of talk about here that I know is a controversial. What I did here is the simple kind of compact way of doing it. It does have a flaw in that obviously these first smelters are going to get higher priority than the ones down there because, oh, I need to wait. What's happening with my life? Okay, no, we're good. Because basically as the as it comes down in there, right, it's always going to put there when it when there's a spot for the most part and then it's always just like the remainder carries forward so these guys up here are going to get a lot more uh priority than the guys way down at the end however once we get enough load coming in on these like if we had 480 guys if that was a mark 4 conveyor it would have so much coming in that it would eventually fill all these guys up and that's fine a, a more efficient way to do it, I guess some would argue, is to actually split and load balance and divide all the resources evenly amongst all the splitters. But that just takes a ton of space, and I personally just don't think it's worth it. Thoughts? I don't know. <clears throat> it's not a load balancer, but it's fine. Yeah, exactly, William. Hey, Creeper. It is so complicated, Kay. Yeah, it, it just takes a ton of space. Where this, like, look how nice and compact this is, right? I could add another 15 back there, and then we've got a huge system. And in reality, I'm going to have more than one of the main artery lines dedicated to ore. Probably two or three, so I won't even have to split this. I could have a second line right off the main artery just going into the second row there when I want to, so. Run a manifold until it can't keep up. I don't know what that means. What's a manifold? The only real question is, are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having a ton of fun. And that's all that matters, right? <laughs> Who cares? Is this what's called manifold? Manifold is what I have now. Okay, got it. It seems like the, the best way to me. Like, you can see these guys aren't even on yet just because we just don't have enough coming in. But... Ow. Now, here we go. We got our iron ingots coming in now. Now I feel like... <clears throat> so without without being crazy, like realistically, I feel like 30 smelters is going to be... Is that going to be enough for endgame? And, and without everyone being like, her, I've got 700. Like, is it really not enough? No. Okay, not at all. So then, well, here's the deal then. I mean, do I... How many... I mean, everyone's going to say a different number here. How many do you need? You have 18 smelters feeding one reinforced plate machine. Wow. Move on. Well, okay, so here's the thing. If I move on and upgrade later, and I build my factory around this then where am I going to put the rest of my iron smelters later? I mean, I could just start putting more on the third floor or something, but... I don't want to rebuild everything! <laughs> Build up. Well, building up is the plan, yeah. I could leave extra space this way, but I don't want the factory. Like, I guess there's a general question of on average, 
on average, I'm going to make a new product. How much space on average do I need with all the machines to make that product? That's that's kind of what I need to know. And I need that that area to determine how big this factory is going to be. And I want like. I want that to be like three sides around the U, right? So this is coming up here and then it's going to turn this way and go this way for as long as that was. That's like one side of the U. It's going to go there. It's going to go down over there the same length and it's going to cut back that way and now encompass all of that in a big factory. And then I can also put stuff on the inside if I want to. <clears throat> One floor per material. That's kind of what I was thinking as need, but I don't know. Steel foundries will be, yeah. And then we're gonna go floor. So we're gonna have, you know, copper, um, concrete, steel, all the stuff as the floors go up. I could replicate those 15 vertically if I wanted to. True, especially, oh, interesting. Especially if my out of curiosity, so maybe that's the answer. Maybe I make the floors big enough to scale one level vertically if I want to. Like that floor wouldn't be that floor would, would have to be a little bit higher, I think, right? I can't. Is there a way to get it? Let me go up on the tower. And I suppose technically there's nothing wrong if like on floor five, I'm like, you know what? I'm not making enough iron ingots. I could just add another huge smelting array there because the iron ore is still going to be flowing through the factory in theory. Uh, let's see here. Can I stack that? Oh, it's not going to snap vertically. Yeah. Steel does require raw iron, yeah, which is why the raw iron is still going to be passing through. Raw iron and coal, yeah. All right. So I think, yeah, we're going to have an... I'm not going to do the smelters now because we, we aren't anywhere near ha needing them, but there will be another row of smelters there. I guess what I'm debating now is the height of my second floor, which we don't need to know right now, but... I kind of like that idea of being able to build too high, building every seg segment too high. Like, imagine this area here, right? Double it that way. So it's like this, that, that. If that's the area I'm allocating on the outside of the U to produce an average product, that seems pretty sufficient. <clears throat> Are you going to jump pad between floors? It's either going to be jump pads or hyper tubes, whichever one is more fun. I have not been hard drive hunting, no. I could build a temp floor, yeah, and then put the smelter on top of it, yeah. All right, let's let's move on because I don't think we're even going to get to the second floor today. We've got we've got a good smelting situation going on here. So now what we need to do, per our major artery design, is put this back onto the main artery. So let's extend. I don't know what I want to call this yet. Artery or bus line, whatever. Uh, let's see. Six. Bring this down here. Okay. So if we went like that, and I know I can zoop these. I just want to, I'll zoop later once I know they're all in place. Uh, this. Can that conveyor reach that far? Excellent. You like the red theme? Yeah, I'm kind of enjoying it too. I want to theme out the whole base and color everything. I'm actually excited to build the factory around this whole thing. Alternate recipes will blow your mind. I mean, they're just more efficient, right? I don't know why they would blow my mind, but... Uh, let's see here. That should probably be a little bit longer, actually. What if we did that? Can that reach? Or do I need another? Come on. There it is. Boom. Okay. I like that. It just seems weird that like I'm arbitrarily shaping the factory based on my smelting thing. Like, 
is that going to be just way, is this way overkill, underkill? I, I'd rather go too big than too small. <clears throat> okay, so if, if the whole thing is, I want to do this right. Oh, it's too far to line up there, but it was, it was eight wide, right? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to actually need quite a bit of turning radius here for this. So if that's, if we wanted to, we could go as close as like this. Can I zoop sideways? No. I can zoop up, but not sideways. Right? And then we go, we're, we're basically turning the, the artery line here. Oh, they're going to start to overlap. Right? That looks, that's garbage. So uh, the only way to do this correct, correct, is to put in more of these things to guide it, right? Add more poles and to square them off. Yeah. That's going to be hard to place those. Right? Um, let's see. I'm trying to find like a systematic way to do this. I don't, I don't want zoop mood. Why aren't you lining up with that one? This feels really tedious. So, okay, I think what I need to do is put this guy even with the previous right man confusing is that too that's too much well, maybe not. This is not accurate. I'm really just trying to find the pattern here. Yeah, that's all. Meh. Uh, Whisper, no, I've probably already seen it, actually. What's up, Torsi? There's one off center. Yeah, I know. The whole thing is... I'm not so worried about getting this accurate right now as I am trying to figure out what's the process for taking a turn with the whole thing. That's the part that is like, ugh. And I need to be able to do this in a semi-efficient way. So that lines up with that. I don't like that it's not snapping with... Oh, there it is. There we go. That snaps there. Okay. I think I got, I think I have kind of the path here. I'm not going to do all these now. I'm just trying to, so now this one would go there and there. Yep. This one goes there. You did line up, right? Yep. And now this one snaps with that and that. And that allows me to make a nice corner. Okay. Try to make a 90 degree. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do is make the 90 degree. I think the last two I got right. Let me do one more here just to see. Because, yeah, it's going to drive me nuts if these are all right. So I snap it to that. Rotate 90 degrees. Snap to that. Oh, is the order I'm placing these messing up? It is. See, because I placed those out of order. Ugh. I got to remember to place these in the right order.
Let me see. I like that you can just like throw a tower down. Timmy Tack, oh my gosh, thank you. Boop, boop. Oh, I'm up, I thought I was falling. Okay, so ignore the first two. I think that is correct-ish. So I'm good with that. Why would anyone use the tower? I know, Zing, right? Immediately, I'm like, okay, towers are the greatest thing ever. <laughs> I have a lot to learn, all right? Leave me alone. Okay. So, this... Uh, I do need to get the outer. I'll, I'll do the inner ones later. That's an off-camera thing for sure. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. Now this one lines up with that and that. Come on. There. So tricky. And that one lines up there. Take that. Oh, did I just, is that going the wrong way? Yep. Okay, there. Like, even stuff like this, it's kind of fun. It's like, it's addicting. You have a lot to learn, such as how to not die. I'm dying on purpose. Oh, it's going backwards still. Oh, because I didn't hook. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the whole thing is going backwards. Is this even going the right way? It's going backwards. Too. Oh, no, wait. That's the underside of the belt. God, of course. Idiot. Okay. You go there. You go there. Like, I'm, I'm underestimating how much space this main artery is going to take up. But I think it'll be worth it. Okay. So now I will need a merger right there. Good enough. Uh, and because we're on the bottom floor, ba -ba 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 -ba, you know what? This is where, you know, do I want to be like super obsessive about everything and get everything all squared off here you know like i know some of you guys would oh, right we're right sorry yeah i don't want to do that i want to send this back you're right absolutely right that would be bad that would be bad okay so that's the ore line we need to bring in the we need to create now the iron ingot line so the question is how many how many bus lines do we want to reserve to iron ore Something tells me having, we're going to need a lot of iron ingots. So maybe leave iron ingots on the outside second level. And then that leaves us plenty for iron ore down here. And then I can also put like iron plates. Uh, we're going to need screws a lot though too, right? Lewinsky, thank you. Dav, thank you. Zomi, put the brand new stuff. Thank you so much, Zomi. That's why I was asking if you wanted your iron to come out at the end away from your bus and not sending it back to the bus start. Everything does use screws, I know. Uh, I don't know what you mean, Noises. I mean, the, the iron ingots go in here. They need to go in right here into the bus. Did I tell them about the delicious dinner she made last night? No, it was amazing. Uh... It was like this, it was like this cube. Mrs. T made the best dinner last night. It was like this cube and it was kind of brown and it had like sticks and leaves, everything all mashed in it, but it was really compressed into a tight cube. She didn't make biomass last night. <laughs> you suck. No, actually it was amazing. She made uh, honey. It was like a honey seared chicken that with like this honey glaze and stuff. Like picture like honey payway chicken, but like so much better. 
uh, with some rice and vegetables and everything. It was so good. Uh, she did try to make um, rice noodles. That was an experiment that we won't be doing again. But, you know, she admitted that part didn't work out so well. Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's zoop some stuff here. I should probably take these up. All right, there's no reason not to just send these all the way. Of course, I got them all at different heights and everything now. Why? Oh, I don't have enough iron rods. How embarrassing for me. All right, let's go get some. Face flat time. Won't it be nice when I have iron rods being created up top? Soon. Okay. Give me... Oh, you know what? Let's change our super amazing system here. Last time we'll have to do this, hopefully. We're getting low on rods. Hopefully we'll have rods being automated soon. Yeah, we got a lot of screws. Uh, let me get some plates, too. I probably need some of those. Boom, boom. Boom. <clears throat> okay, that should be good. Put that away, put that away, put that away, good. Okay. I'm excited. I want hyper tubes. Why not build crafting stations on the platforms? Yeah, we're going to. We're gonna, everything's gonna go up on the platform eventually, but right now my rod production is still on the ground, so. I always mess up which side is inventory and storage. Uh oh. Crimson, thank you for the piece of pie. Not a pro tip because I'm not a pro at this game yet. But if you line up a conveyor belt with the green line uh, and go back two clicks, you get a 90 degree curve. Hope this helps. Oh, interesting. I mean, I kind of know what you're saying. You're basically saying there might be a way to do it without having to pre-place all those poles, which I will have to experiment with. I like that. How's my man, concrete? I, I need to have like the world's biggest concrete factory. I'm in, buddy. Yeah, go. This is the greatest thing ever. Oh, he's so good. Okay. Uh, what was I doing now with things? All right. Uh, this guy, you, zoop up. I said, oh, right, I died, so I don't have zoop mode activated. Get up to there. Get up to there. All the zooping. Or as Mrs. T would say, zoop, zoop. Zoop, zoop. Okay, good. You get this game just for the cart. Yeah, right? Okay, so now let's run a secondary line there. Iron ingots. Unless, unless I want to just say, it might be convenient to just say the whole bottom row is iron. Or at least all iron is on the bottom row. Like, or, or, or... Plates, rods, screws. That actually feels more organized so that I can start to learn. Okay, copper second row. That's fine. Let's do that. So then if I want to leave three, that means this guy right here is going to be my iron bars or rods. Or whatever I just made. Ingots. Ingots is the word I'm looking for. Thank you. You won't have enough screws that way. Um, fair enough. But I can at least 
say, I, I don't have to say all my iron is on the bottom row, but I can say my entire bottom row is iron. Some screws can start to go to the second floor and the second level if I need to. Okay. So we want to have a merger here with oh no 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 even if it's on the bottom we said we're just going to do conveyor okay so that stays there right and then this we want this to there's the perfect 90 degree is that what you're talking about i forget your name who said that but i see what you're saying now about the perfect 90 degree just doing it this way that's kind of more convenient Two notches behind the alignment. Not sure what you meant there. Goes through my power pole, but that's fine. Hey, put that. Can I snap this to the conveyor? I can't. Ah, oh, you jerk. Good enough. Right, and then you go in. Ah! Oh, embarrassing! So I need, whoop, game just froze there. Let's have this come out a little bit more. If you're funneling in a merger, get a line and then go two notches back. And the next belt will get that 90 degrees. I only kind of understand what you're saying. I understand the idea, but not the actual details. So if I do this, now we go the 90 degrees. Now, sure, go right in. It would look better if it stayed on the ground. Let's make it look a little bit better. So now he can go to like right there and then he can go up and in. There we go. Right? We're good. It takes two spaces in each direction to make a 90 degree turn. That makes sense. Yeah, William. Okay, so all the stuff going in. I know it's not straight. Don't care right now. And then there we go. So that's the idea with the main main bus line. We pull off what we want at the beginning of the build section. We put something back on an available track at the end. And now we move on. So we've got iron bars done. So now we can move on to probably plates or rods, right? Until you make a third conveyor line and that won't work. Huh? Oh, that's going to clip through there probably, right? Yeah, I'll fix that when the time comes. So now I feel like we should do probably rods. So you're done with your iron farm? Yeah, totally done. We know how big the outer ring is here, which is important. So we need to we need to do some zoop in here. I know I'm not being exact down there and I know it's going to drive some of you crazy, but whatever. I just need more space right now. <clears throat> uh, can lifts do a 90 degree turn? Yeah, they can. Oh, 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 yes. Yes, they can. I see what you're saying now. Yeah, you can do uh, here. I'll show you. You can like do this and then so see how it goes in here and then comes out 90 degrees turn at the top. So you can do that, which is super cool. If that's what you're asking. All the concrete. <laughs> Evil notion. Hi, hi, hi. Even if you're still here, you're probably not. Your your Discord message to me was cryptic. I didn't know if you were asking for help or just complaining. Or both. Just 
just complaining. Okay, got it. No worries. Not that I was going to be able to help you, so. Sorry, had to be done. Okay, so now plates. <laughs> 55 kilometers miles per hour. Get this thing up to 88 miles an hour. You're going to see some serious business. All right, bam. Uh, let's say, give me this. So it's interesting, right? Like it's snapping the lines there, the lines there, and then bam, the line's gone. Is that because that's the length of that the conveyor will connect? If so, that's helpful. That's really cool. <laughs> 1 1.21 gigawatts. Okay, we got our ore. We got our, all right, we got to get the, again, I'm just, I'm skipping. Building the artery is going to take a ton of time. We'll get it all built out later. But I just want to get what I need right now. So there's, boop, got turned around. Why, you know, oh, I'm out of plates again. Man, these things eat up plates quick. Fireblade, thank you so much for the piece of pie. This is a PSA. I blame Tang of the amazing support I've had for the Make-A-Wish Charity Week. Uh, we had 28 people sign up for it, Howard, because of its awesomeness. If we raise $1,500, I'm now sitting in glitter slime. That doesn't sound pleasant at all. Cart! Oh, do we want to... <laughs> is it time? All right, it's time. It's time for some science. Let me get the cart here. Does the cart save my life? Is it fall proof? Oh, it's still playing music. How nice. Factory cart is the best thing ever. All right. Seems, seems adequate. <laughs> Here we go. The satisfactory not have an elevator. It does. I'm not cool enough to have one yet, though. Didn't leave myself a very good runway. All right, here we go. No, no. Oh, we're gonna stick the landing. Oh, I wedged my bits. Ah. I'm sad. Oh, that was great. I thought I was going to do a 360 and stick the landing. I did stick it right. I know. Okay. Uh, we need all the plates now. Clearly. Uh, boom. Give me that. Okay, uh, I don't even know if that's... Can I... All right, so there's these personal storage chests. I can't pick these up, right? They're not a backpack. Can I, like, fill one of these up with plates, pick it up, and then go place it? No. Mm, that's a shame. Okay. Well, we're making plates now anyway, so... Hopefully that's enough to get us where we need to be. Hypercubes, hypertubes, whatever they are, they can't come fast enough. Every time I go up this ladder, a little piece of my soul dies. I need a landing zone. Yeah, I know. We should make like, we should paint the ground, put like a bullseye. Be amazing. Ram, thank you. <laughs> Tango early stream. I shouldn't buy this cart. This is dumb. Tango now. <laughs> the cart is the best thing ever. Yeah, absolutely. So much fun. It's just so cute. Like, 
It's so tiny, and I'm like, I feel like uh, the the uh, the dad in The Incredibles getting into his little car. That's what it feels like. Oh, what am I doing? <gasps> well, I would just like just throw it on the ground. <laughs> you know what I was hoping that would have been the best thing ever? See how that window is down? It would have been great if when I was free falling, if the other window fell down and then it started flapping. You can't see my arms right now. It started flapping. How hilarious would that have been? Play a special animation if it's in the air where it tries to flap. That'd be amazing. Okay, stupid presence. Okay. You. To you. Okay. Here come our iron bars now. <clears throat> flappy cart instead of flappy bird. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all right. We need a splitter off of here now. We'll split early. Split early, split often. And let's get him straight to the ground to prevent as much clipping as we can. Look at that. Eh, 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 eh. That's no fun. All right. I need to snap this. How do you snap these guys to the same increment? I'm holding control, but they, like there's no snapping to anything there. Oh, maybe, maybe we'll put the thing first, I suppose. You can't. Okay. I mean, I suppose if I do... Not that I care to do this. But I could do this, right? And now... No, I still can't because that's not going to snap to that. I mean, I could just kind of line it up as best I can. Blah! It's better, but not great. Good enough. Okay. So now we need production constructors, right? Let's let's do the science, see what we got. We're making iron plates. Needs 30 iron ingots per minute. So I think it's pretty much the exact same system, but except instead of smelters, we're doing constructors, right? Remember my alternate screw recipe. I know, Zing, when I get there, I will. We're not there yet, though. I'm going to do plates, then rods, then screws. Is there any reason I, sh I don't, I, I mean, I build the exact same system I built there with constructors instead of smelters and will, I mean, am I looking at 15, 15 constructors for, for plates? I think let's get the splitter in. We'll say, we'll move it back a little bit. We'll go right there. So that can be the first one. OMG decked out too when the warden comes. Yeah, been saying that forever. Absolutely. Let's build the first one here. Constructor. Right, it's going the right way. Line it up. I said line it up. Please. There we go go right does that that connects to that excellent align the constructors out of bus 90 degree angle to bus i think i want it like this right and then we're gonna have the same i don't want them pointing with it if that's what you're saying but no hard hat i know i should have a hard hat it should be safe uh and then this guy we want him pointing that way yeah so you go there and I could go yellow. No need. No need. We'll go there. I should have a cup of coffee. Isn't there? There is a cup of coffee in the awesome shop, don't I? Isn't there? What does it do? And, and what can I? Is it just an emote I get or what? Speaking of coffee, now I'm sad. Just some fun. You, it's coffee. You drink it. Sounds good. Uh, okay, so that's that. Drink while falling. Falling in style. Let's go. 
there, there, and if I want, I could do, oh, come on with the presents. I suppose if it was December 15th, I'd be excited about those. They really need to stop dropping those now though. Like, come on, patch the game. Okay, uh, right, and then we just say iron plates and, 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 and easy mode, I think. The yellow soft clipping should be used to make stuff look good. Okay. There's an option to turn them off? Really? Because they are getting a bit annoying. Options. Gameplay. Don't even know where it is. I don't think there is. It would be under gameplay, right? I mean... <laughs> Look under Bob. <laughs> Riggs, I think you're kidding me now. Oh, hi, Brody. Thank you for your encouragement, as usual. I always expect the first thing you say in chat to be positive, uplifting, and inspiring. Good, sir. Thank you. Uh, oh, I'm out of wires. God. All right. Where's my cart? Where's my cart? Get over here. Nope. E. I saw that, Brody. I'm not going to acknowledge it. This is wrong. <clears throat> Greatest thing ever. Can I fit under my conveyor belts? I can't. I mean, I can't drive around the post because I'm bad. All right, last time I was sad because my guy... Whoop, whoop, he, hit a, he hit a brick wall there. Oh, see? Why is he not good at going up a perfectly smooth ramp? Come on. What, that's dumb. <sighs> okay, so we need to do this. Oh, I wonder if he, he can go up uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. more more delicate ramps, perhaps. What is that? Oh, well, I don't need 700 degrees of rotation. I need I'm on, I'm snapping to this thing. Come on, bam. Let's see if that works. Uh, oh, it works! Stick the landing. Rotate, rotate, compensate. <laughs> Everything's fine. What are you talking about? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I love this thing. So good. So good. Uh, what did I run out of? Plates or rods? Plates or rods. Looks like I ran out of... But cable. Cable. All the cable. I don't even have those automated, so sit tight. Nailed it, right, Summer? You play Apex. No, I don't. If the game involves running around, picking up a gun, shooting someone, getting shot, respawning, and repeating, I generally don't play it. Make a crafter up top. Yeah, I should. There was no reason to come down because I had the wires on me. I want to grab some more wires and we'll just go back up top, yeah. <clears throat> That should be good. Toilet bacon? Yeah. Toilet bacon was the best thing that ever happened to Fortnite, but the rest couldn't make up for it, you know? Uh, Des, no, I haven't over, I haven't messed around with overclocking yet. I don't have enough of the overclock of Acators. Um, I understand how it works. Only because last time I played many years ago. Birdie, she can't. She can't play first person games unless you want to strap a bucket under her chin for all the vomiting. She can't even watch me play this game. She gets sick.
I'm an excellent driver. Uh, special. Where's the crafter? Production. Craft bench. Excellent. That's exactly where I wanted it. Let's make a, one of these two while we're at it. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and need to uh, drug test you, given the way you've been driving. Okay. Now, where were we? Uh, constructors. Yes. Right? Yes. Encroaching others clearance. Boom. 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 Ah! More souping! More soupage! This factory is going to be so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Have ever played Subnautica? Yeah, I played through. I beat it. Uh, loved it. One of my favorite survival games ever. Brain. Everybody loves zooping. Woo! <laughs> that was... That was close. I was totally aware that there was a hole there. Mind the gap. Yeah, right. Dun, 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 dun. How many platificators do we really need here? Plates aren't necessarily that much in demand compared to screws. All of them. Everyone just says all of them. Yes. All right, zooping. Those are sideways. What are sideways? Hey! Now we're going to show you mass delete compensate for being a mass moron all right constructors again let's try this and go like that bam 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 what's up jp how you doing <laughs> it was a teaching moment <laughs> right trend i know like <laughs> who doesn't, who doesn't, who plays this game and goes, oh, that was easier and tinier than I expected it to be. Right. Yeah. So no sarcasm here. What's the end goal of this game? The answer can be building cool stuff. The answer is building a massive factory. I honestly don't know. I think there is an end game where you have to like build a, I don't want to say a rocket. Do I have to get off the planet? What, what What is the final thing I build to win? Or is it winnable? I don't really care if it isn't. Does anyone know? I'm sure someone knows. We don't know. It's not there. Okay, more tears coming. All right, so yeah, right now it's just build a factory. Which, let's face it, that's the fun part, yeah. Brody's like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> uh, okay. More of these. So what I want, let's see, should I count? Is there a way to measure distance easily in this game? Or should I just count tiles, I guess? Number of tiles, I think, yeah. Count foundations, yeah, okay. So no is the answer. All right, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and a half, we'll say, before the turn. And the turn started right here. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So right about here. I'm guessing this is gonna yep, there we go. Perfect. Boom. So two two skadoodler lengths is the precise measurement of my one side of the U of my factory. And that's all we need to know. Else can go six foundations. Uh, really? One, two, three, four, five. Sure enough, six. Yeah. Buddy, thank you for three months. Remember the good old days when games had to be 100% complete? Yeah. I'm, I'm generally not a fan of early access, but this game did it well. As soon as they entered early access, it was already fun. It was already very playable. It was not clunky or anything. And all I've been doing is just adding tons and tons of great content on top of it. So I think that's a perfectly fine way of doing it. <clears throat> okay, so that is the official number of plate constructors that we're going to have. I agree, Brody. Yeah. Grounded was a really cool game that, in my opinion, just didn't have enough content, I would say. A little bit glitchy still. But great game. Will be a great game. Probably is a great game right now, for all I know. But when I played it, I was left going, meh, that's it. It's not bad, it's just still not done. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know like Churro and Evil and stuff. You guys have been playing a lot and that's cool. I've been meaning to pop in and watch you guys play it. <clears throat> Early access, just an excuse for terrible optimizations. Well, I mean, you know, some games do it right. Some games not so right. The ones that do it right, I totally respect what they're doing, and I can get on board with the game not being done. I would like to jump up on top. Oh, okay. Thank you. The artwork for that game is stunning. Yeah, Grounded is a beautiful game. I'll definitely give them that. Honestly, I'm super impressed with the artwork for this game. I have no complaints. The environment looks great. The machines look great. The animations on the machine are just absolutely fantastic. They nailed it. Boom. Boom. Uh, there we go. so glad they have those little lines there it's just so reassuring you know I'm like okay we're good that's the spot boom without there it'd be, it'd be so painful to like I, you'd be making mistakes all the time and you have to double check everything all the alignments and everything it takes two is the best newly released game yeah it, it, it takes two is the best game to come out in at least a couple years the game was just so fantastic you know I should do this in one pass Can I get up there? Yes. Let's do that. That. Good. Working on a process here. That, that, that. There we go. That's what I want to do. That, 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 that. Maybe they'll come up with a sequel for what it takes two. Oh, Miss Beeves, yeah, that was that was the best game that Bernie and I have ever played together. Absolutely. <laughs> it takes three. Green Hell was fantastic, yeah. I, I'm just I want more content in Green Hell. And I want, I want there to be more 
reason to build. They have a pretty cool build system in that game, but no reason to do it. That was a bit frustrating. Yeah, the Green Hill playthrough is great. Tons of fun. Should get to Caterium and research it to get the blade ready. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, their first content update I was not impressed with, if that's what you're saying, Brody. It was just like, eh? Like I want, I wanted more gameplay, not a story. All right, so this is gonna be plates. Deep Rock Galactic. Yeah, uh, Zed and I played that way, way, way back in the day. It was on Mixer when they had Mixer integration and you could press buttons for sparks to spawn mobs. That's how long ago we played Deep Rock Galactic. And it was a good game then. I think they've added a ton since. Uh, so I would be willing to get, give that one a shot again, too. Yeah, Genesis. Green Hell was a lot of fun right at the beginning, and then it kind of they need to they need to play with their progression curve a little bit, and slow it up. Curious, can't you place the wall outlet on the side of the conveyor poles? Uh oh, interesting. Oh, those aren't lined up. What am I even doing with my life? Power wall outlet. Uh, looks like no. And that's sad, because that would have been really cool. Here I am talking about how great the lines are for lining things up, and I didn't use them, apparently. Boom. Astroneer is a wonderful game. Yeah, I I really enjoyed Astroneer. It was cute. I love their no interface model or principle, I guess you could say. Um, needed some hostile mobs. It needed some threat. But it was cute. And I really liked their art style. Okay, so now we go you over to fish. We go this, we go again. This is the part that's like, eh. Is my merger correct there? I don't even remember if it was, I wasn't paying attention to the orientation of it. Yeah, Astroneer did kind of fizzle out a little bit. Okay, we were good. And I know I, I may fix these and so that there's less clipping. Did I ever play Oxygen Not Included? I did, Winter. Uh, I mean, fantastic game. Super in-depth. Super complicated. Love the idea of the game. I love the game loop. If I'm honest, it was a bit too complicated. And I was constantly overwhelmed and felt like there was hidden game knowledge that I didn't have. Um, love the love the art style. Loved watching the little critters run around do their thing, though. But it was a it was a tough game to learn on stream. I'll say that. If I ever played again, I would want to play off stream. Uh, okay, so Tango equals Terraria. What? Hole, we'll say right there. Every two. Did I skip? No, we're still good. Okay. Boom and boom. Good. Hate the feeling of not knowing if you're playing a game correctly. Yeah, that's to me what 
oxygen not included was like I just felt like I was constantly not doing the right thing have you seen a trio no factory automation survival yeah that's weird I've usually up to date on all the factory survival games I haven't heard of that one is that spelled correctly a trio uh you and Brody played arc together yeah for about 18 minutes Uh, let's see here. You. <laughs> Eye roll. Yeah. That's what I say too. This part feels arbitrary and I don't like that, but whatever. I'll figure that out later. You and Brody played several games together, unfortunately. Yeah, well. We can fix that if you want, Brody. <laughs> it's up to you, man. Just let me know. Uh, okay, power. Power these guys. Game hitching. You won't stand for this abuse. <laughs> the abuse you gave the second you came into the stream, you mean? Yeah. Okay, we got that. We got power. All right, I gotta set all the, all the uh, construction things now. Select recipe, iron plates. Oh, that one's already set. Okay. Yeah. Iron plate. Iron plate. Iron plate. Iron plate. Didn't you guys also play remnant once too? I don't think so. There's an update on Scrap Mechanic? That game was fun. Scrap Mechanic had a lot of like... Two bolts fell out of the garage door. The door or the... I don't know. Cool. Cool. That's awesome. Brand new house. Bolts are falling out. B bolts are overrated. Just drive your car under it quicker. That's the solution. Sledge, I totally agree. I 100% respect Factorio as an amazing, amazing game. Building in 2D to me is just like not nearly as fun. Okay. Check it out. Play factory complete. Starting to feel like I should build in a tower as part of the design at each. Like, what if I had a tower, right? Transportation, this guy. Oh, uh, it would look weird. I mean, I could center it right there. I don't know if that's close enough. Can I clip the towers into the belt? I mean, I could, but meh. Yeah, that's not the best vantage point. But we're good. Wait. Oh, those are ingots there, right? I was like, why are plates going down and plates going in? And those aren't plates. Those are ingots. Okay, smelting the ingots, ingots making a loop, ingots go in there, plates come out, plates have stopped because there's nowhere for the track to go. Excellent. You can climb up the stackable conveyor, just add a foundation. I don't know what that means. Oh, there's ladders on the side of these things. Yes. Oh, I see. You're right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Don't need this. Because I could just climb up this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the most organized factory you've ever seen. You probably haven't seen much of this game then yet. Okay, yeah, that totally works. I like that better. Okay. Coming in there, going around here. We've got all the happy, happy. And we're good. I think I'm good on plates for now. 
We obviously repeat and expand that way as necessary. Let's uh, move on. Oh, unfortunately, we got to take the corner, though. How are we doing on power? Yeah, check your power. One pole. Check my what? I'm missing a pole? How embarrassing. Uh, what is this? Go away. Did I not power one of them? See the red. See the red, see the red, see the red. Aha! Got it. Thank you. It's nice that there's little lights. So yellow means powered, green means act actively producing, I guess. Let's uh, mark two this, even though it's not necessary. Yeah, doesn't really matter because we have only a mark one coming in. We're going to have to make a whole pass of mark two on the whole thing. Okay. Da, 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 da. Excellent. That went much quicker. We're learning the process now. So, let's see. What do we want to do? Do we want to do... The, the logical thing for me to do right now is turn the corner and do uh, rods. And then uh, maybe we make the middle be a giant screw factory. <laughs> right? Last conveyor is still off. Hmm? Not a fan of buffer storage. Uh, no, actually, that's a good point. I do want to get buffer storage going. And I should probably do it like here. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, organization storage container. Yeah. What is that even lining up with? Nothing. Oh, it's going the wrong way, first of all. Something, something is still off yet. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to figure out what you guys are saying. The tower. What's off? Sorry. <laughs> Where's my spreadsheet for ideal ratio calculations? Uh, yeah, it probably will happen eventually. Thought you guys were saying something is off. If so, what is it? Seems fine. Okay. I want to add a storage here as well. There's a little gap in the inner tower. When you say tower, you mean the, uh, the conveyor stacker things? Let's go check that out. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I see that. Thank you. Ah, oh, bummer. Yeah, this is why we gotta... How do you zoop build? You hit R. <clears throat> so, like, if I want to do some zoop action over here, right? We're gonna put some plates down. You can see build mode says zoop in the middle there. Changes between... Oh, wait, vertical? What? <laughs> That's amazing. 
So there's vertical mode too, apparently. That's awesome, right, Kay? <laughs> That's how you stack a pillar. It's amazing. Uh, anyways, yeah, you hit R to switch between modes. Default will just do one at a time. And then you can, you can zoop, which is basically build a whole line of them, which is super cool. Okay. So do we want to do, uh, whoop. do we want to do rods or, I mean, arbitrarily we could just go look for slugs or something, even though I don't really need them right now. Building the base is what I want to do, but. If you guys want to change, I'm totally up for going to do some other adventure or doing something. What do you want? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is this right? Yeah, okay. Genesis, I know you want all the slugs. Base. Just keep. Explore a cave. Get some mam research going. Uh what though i mean to do that i'd have to like go kill things or go find slugs or something so all right you guys seem you guys are cool at the base we'll just keep going then i'm having fun building the base so there's that Did I go one too many? Probably went one too many. Second from the constructor is out. Why? Why? I want to turn these things off. <laughs> Can't wait for the moment you'll want to tear it all down. Nope. Never. We've planned perfectly as a completely experienced player who will never make a mistake. I can't imagine a situation where I would need to tear things down. Snark, snark. How do I disable the holiday events, Bouncy? Do you know? I was trying to figure that out. <laughs> Are you reading from that from a script? <laughs> you cannot. Well, that's multiple people have said that you can. Oh, what is happening here? Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, I got to get the width of these things correct. In settings? Yeah, I went there. Options? I would think it would be under gameplay. Head bobbing. Holiday options on the menu. Manage session. Main menu settings. Oh, I got to exit the game. All right. Next time I'll check it out. All right. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to be so many. Oh, come on. It doesn't reach. Oh, yeah. There, there you go. Boop. Excellent. Excellent. Didn't you need to rebuild those two small curves? Yep, I sure did. There's a lot of little details I'm going to do off camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I just want to get the ends marked. And then let's see. This is ingots. Let's say this is going to be. That one will be my place that I just made. Is that going to rotate the right way now? Please. Thank you. Good. I know, right? Main menu settings. Okay, yeah, I got it, guys. Go to the hub, get all the rewards from the holiday calendar. Some goodies there. Yeah, I should. Should we do that? I suppose, because they may end it. But it's all it's all just for 
Well, they have non-holiday stuff in there, right? Like, they were actually putting, like, coupons and stuff, if I remember correctly. I got the useful stuff? Okay, I'm not gonna bother with it then. Like, there was a couple coupons and this and that, but, eh. Man, it is so sensitive. Hooking these things up. Okay, bars. This one is plates. So let's get a skadoodler going over here. A merger. Crouch. You go up in there. Excellent. Excellent. I don't know. I like this this process. It's going to be super consistent and easy to build things out as we spiral up this this base. I think it's going to be good. I think the size is kind of right. We'll see. Probably woefully inadequate as usual. Can you play this in VR? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Are you going to be able to get a belt by that merger? Uh, yeah, all of these right now are, I mean, they're temporary. I'm basically, here's, here's what's going to happen, right? I'm going to take this. I'm going to stick it right there. <clears throat> now I could leave that and not care, or I can do this and just send that to the ground as quick as I can like that. In the end, it doesn't really, it's going to clip, so. If it's on the second or third tier, that's when I'm going to use the lifters to get it down. That helps a little bit. So a little bit of clipping like that is the kind of the sacrifice to have this compact bus system. Last two are off. Off. Last two what? Bacchus. I think we're good. Right, that's got plates on it. Yep. Okay, so now we're ready for another turn here. Uh, bu -bu 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 let's see. One, two. Sorry, brain no worky. Is it like? So here's the thing I don't like. I should be able to do this. I know it's red, like, no, that's too steep. But I want to lift the conveyor up, so I can't. I have to pre-place the thing. I feel like there's a correct way to do this initial thing here, and I don't want to mess that up. That feels wrong. Could probably make that turn, yeah. But I feel like that should go over one more. that that feels better okay uh are jits gonna play minecraft dungeons it's not on our radar right now hammer sorry and lowering the belts for the merger just an idea i might have missed what you said before that support of every belt holder in between Maybe. Sorry, a lot of people are suggesting different things and I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so we need to go to, I don't want zoop mode. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. There's a lot of space in the middle. So I'm not going to lie. What I was planning on doing was building some kind of cool structure in the middle. With like hyper tubes in it. So it's like you could just go up in the factory and look around. Maybe that's like the main. Uh, maybe that's the main elevator system. To get around the base. But I also want to have elevators like over in the corners or on the sides of each thing too. Man, look at that. So now I'm debating between building something cool in the middle here versus 
using it for more factory i think it's too much space i need to i need to do more factory stuff here right because we have an artery there's no reason not to use both sides of it i could make this middle area be a huge screw factory which is probably a smart thing the offices yeah Karas, that's kind of what i was thinking right something like that Keep planning out the, the main bop. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> Factory along the ring build in the center. There should be space still. There's probably space to still build lots of stuff and build some kind of spire in the middle too. You're right. We'll see. But I definitely like, because screws, I know everyone's telling me like you need screws for everything, right? Of all the iron products, I think you need screws the most. So that's where we want to just go bonkers and make as many as we possibly can. So we're going to need a lot of space. But if you change the walkway colors, like main through fairs, yellow. Yeah, Genesis, I want to color code all the, all the floor stuff. So like have like, you know, hazard barriers for when you're entering a factory area, have like strips for like walkways and stuff like that and all that be color coded. But I kind of want to get the first floor done first and then maybe go back and color it. <clears throat> Could you move the space elevator to the center? Oh, that's not a bad idea. That would take up a lot of space though in prime area but i did want to build like a special platform for the space elevator yeah i think i think aesthetic wise that's a really clever idea but i don't want to sacrifice that much space to what could be good factory building but i do want to move that and like attach it to the factory somewhere i'm just not sure like the storage area uh in the hub and probably the space thing are all going to go over here somewhere i'm not sure where though Did I terraform this? Yeah, no, we're, we built up in the sky. We intentionally are building way up in the sky so that we have tons of space to build. Um, that's our coal factory down there, which is not going to hold up much longer, probably at the rate we're building here. Um, but we have plenty of area here to build flat and not have to worry about terrain. Can't you ex extend the platform? Yeah, we can, all this platform can be extended in any direction. Could put storage in the middle. Oh, well, that's interesting. Put the storage and the hub and everything in the middle. I was going to make it like a separate building off to the side, only because it itself is going to need to be huge. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe. I'd have to see how big the storage is going to be. And if I would still have space to do factory stuff in the middle. But that's an interesting thought. All right. So now this should be lined up. Oh, it's totally not. So if this is correct now, like, this is so off. So there's a wall there. Why is this wall here? This is all off. This is the stuff that I have to get correct now. Have the main storage building be drone fed. Aren't drones like tier 47 though? Okay, those look like they lined up. So this wasn't far enough. Why does that not reach there? Oh, it does reach now. What the heck? So the dotted line is not the length, the max length of a conveyor. I was using that line on the ground and when that disappeared, I thought that was the end of the conveyor, but it actually can go a little bit longer. Okay, that looks like it lines up. And then this is way off. Okay. That looks like right there. 
looks right, I think. Good. You've been betrayed! I know, right? I'm excited about how this is coming together now. Now all I want to do is just keep building. We're definitely going to be doing this, uh, playing some of this tonight, I think. I'm excited. We'll get, we'll get floor one done. I got to figure out what the factory is going to look like on the outside. All right, again, still just getting the, the artery defined here. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> Weekend stream? Probably, yeah. People are going to be sick of watching me play this game. I'll, I'll probably try to make a blend of like, I'll do the repetitive stuff off stream. And then when I stream, it'll be like new technology. By the way, why haven't I pressed the button today? Ah, let's go do that. Where's my cart? I left my cart. Always remind me to take my cart with me. Where did I put it? There it is. <laughs> eh. Get in. We haven't been upgraded any science today. I should probably think about moving the hub up here now too. Right? Should we do that now? If I build a hub right now, you can't have two hubs, right? <clears throat> Special hub. You can only build one hub. Okay. So let's go destroy our other hub. Is it time? Might be time. No, no, we've got you far. <laughs> Everything's fine. I like how it protects me. Don't forget my car. I got it. Yep. Thank you. Uh, right. So this whole thing, if I destroy it, I assume this personal storage box will come with it. Is there any reason not to destroy this right now? Oh, wait a minute. We are ready here. I did preload this guy. If I press this button and then go build the hub, is the is the shoopy shoopy thing gonna be smart enough to small box won't keep its contents? Ugh. So I should take everything out of here and put it in a temporary one. Just to be safe is what it sounds like. Small box gets put in your inventory or dropped on the ground. But it won't have its contents, right? Because we don't have backpacks, we said, right? Cyan, thank you for the brand new sub. I appreciate you. It'll put it in its crate. It'll fall like a crate. Okay, good. So we're good then. Uh, all right, let's uh, press the button for basic steel production. We should have been doing this a long time ago. Milestone <clears throat> reached. Steel production unlocked. Foundry grants access to new, simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress to the next phase is now possible. Progress to the next phase is now possible. So now... Ah, uh, now we gotta do vehicular transport. Boom, boom, boom. That's actually pretty easy right there. I'm not gonna handcraft the rotors because I'm more interested about getting my, my production pipeline set up, but... All right, let's destroy this. And that guy's not going to have a place to come back. Are we, we going to like test a potential bug situation here? Okay, that's got all my... Was that all I had in there? I thought I had more stuff. All right. The sooner I can not have to jump down, the better. We want Skippy! <laughs> 
We've got we've got cart truck. Cart truck's gonna you know factory truck's gonna have to do for a while. We'll get Skippy later. We'll probably get Skippy when I need to get my first remote. Something you know a resource that's gonna a little bit too long for conveyor belts. Cart truck needs a name. It does. Uh, what do we call? Now accepting names for cart truck. Dinky. <laughs> Dinky's pretty good. Skadoodle. I can't do skadoodler. Everything's a skadoodler. That's just name overload. What is Skippy? Is Sk William, I, when I played the game last with Zed, the truck, the automated trucks, we named one of them Skippy the Wonder Truck. So there's that. I kind of like Dinky the best so far. Crash. What are we naming? We're naming this guy. <laughs> What's up, A7? How you doing? Squirt. A little squirt. All right. Anyways, special hub. Oh, it's so hubby. Let's go. Let's put the hub on outside of our factory for now so hub goes there super scientific uh did it no it didn't okay okay select milestone do you select good oh wow it's giving me all tutorial stuff again is that what all those exclamation marks are i guess bad decision <laughs> the factory cart the fart <laughs> i mean that's clever How little he is. Dozer. Bento. I feel like Bento is a... Is that a Futurama reference? I never watched Futurama. Because I'm a... Fail. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Cartholomew. Dinky and the Brian. <laughs> nice draw. <clears throat> bento. Oh, Bento as in Bento box. Yeah, Japanese lunch tray. Yeah, yeah. We will call him Bento. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't make me laugh as much. Good times with cart. Oh, my coffee's still gone. Sad. You can paint the cart? That sounds fun. Tonka. Oh, Tonka's pretty good. He looks like a Tonka truck. He's got the same colors and the same a uh, pink cart. How do I how do I color him? Let's figure this out. Is this what custom swatch is for? So here's the thing I don't understand is I can create a custom swatch. How do I paint with it? Do I need a special tool or something? Is there a paint tool? Pretzel, thank you for the sub. Need a paint gun. Okay. Look at the mam. Yeah. Oh, I should have built another mam up here. Can I build another mam up here? I can. Aha. Uh -huh. Take that, mam, down below. Nobody needs you. You're dumb. I mean, I have no idea where to even look. Power slugs. I'm like so far behind in all this stuff. It's probably a hard drive. There's no more paint gun. You don't need it. Okay, if you don't need it, how do I paint? Is there a hotkey? You select the swatch. Okay, custom swatch. Feel like this is not what I want to be doing. Select color, go. Yeah! Okay. Me me. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to drive this thing all day. Uh. <laughs> so satisfying. Okay, so that is the size of our factory, give or take. 
There's gonna be a wall here, I think. And then I think, I think, maybe not though. Do I want these? My original plan was all of these conveyors would come out of the building and then from the outside, you would see them ramp up to the next level and then they would go back inside the building. But nothing says I can't just put all of this inside the building. It's really a question of aesthetics. You listen to the horn. I don't think there is a horn, right? There's a siren you could put on top. It plays music. But there's no like, meh, meh. <laughs> like, even the animation of him putting it up there. Like, you can feel like he's like, there's like resistance when he pulls it off. When he puts it on, he's like, bam. He's like angry. Like, it's just perfect animation. A, a beginner animator would have just made one transition where it went dunk and it popped off. This animator is good. They actually like made it like he put his hand up and then he kind of just slams it down. I like those details. Yeah, so good. Toot comes with music. Yes. <laughs> I don't think so, Hazard. Okay, I just take him with me. Otherwise, I'll forget him. Anyways, what did we? What was the thing? Do we think we should put the? So this is gonna turn, and then it's gonna ramp up to floor two. It's gonna be a very gradual ramp up, of course. Do we think the whole thing should be contained inside a factory, or do we think the ramp up should just be on the outside of the factory for some reason? Oh my guy came back. Bonus. I was originally thinking it would go outside, but now I'm starting to think just put the whole thing inside and then maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe maybe I can decide where to put the wall once we have a factory going. Can it be two toned? I don't think so. Well, you get a swatch, right? So. Oh, he didn't change. He, oh, he doesn't keep his color. That's dumb. Womp womp indeed. Yeah, boo. That's dumb. Uh, doctors, you need room for trains to transport you to different locations. Yeah, I don't know anything about trains. I've never, they weren't in the game last time I played. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna be, I think the train station will be like out here where it brings in the raw resources and then it just goes into the system, I think. I believe there's some way to associate swatch with vehicles for fix it foundation set pipeline well there's all these swatches but they don't tell you what i mean maybe is there one that's like yellow and blue like this one is that the swatch that is it skins no nah. Maybe it's a skin I haven't updated, or... I don't know. Oh well. Tab top, what's under customizer? We're on the customizer. It's a tab of the whole UI kind of thing. Okay. Did you collect all the things in the advent calendar? No, I mean some, and then I kind of got bored because it's just given me mostly tickets and stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna need ores, which are coming in on that outside line. And then let's see, it was ore, 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 plates, rods. Can't afford. Ah! Oh, well, at least we have plates over here now. Boom, boom, boom. Ish. Maybe? No? Drop some bacon. <laughs> or, or. Now hear me out. Yeah. Right? It was or, or, or. Boom. Boom. This guy is going to be plates. And by plates, I mean rods. Ooh. 
Believe the, do I have stacks of ores? Yeah, okay. Eh. Eh. What, this is just from breaking all those uh, conveyors that have stuff on them already. Lantus, thank you for the sub. And Trooper, thank you so much. Put them in the sink. That's eh, too far. Okay, right, right. Okay, I need to make the corner there. Man, so much work. So much work. Okay, now let's see if I can do this. I want that to go there, and I want him to line up with the second one. Like that. And I want this guy to do the same thing, but line up with that. Yes. That's the process of getting the corners just right. I like that. It's going the right way. Yes. I think. No, it's not. It's going backwards, I think. Yeah. If you fill your factory with belts, you won't have any room for machines. Well, we have. That's why they have the whole outside. Plenty of room with machines. Bottom's going the opposite direction. I know, but there's still... Oh, no, it is going the right one. Okay. Interesting that they slow down right there. I never noticed that before. And then it, like, accelerates. Interesting. Okay, let's hook up. Maybe we do all these corner ones here. So he goes... There. I don't want zoop mood. Right? Let's see. He goes there. He goes there. Is this right? I think. Let's see. I'm trying to trying to find a way to do this quickly. As long as you get it right out of the start. Mm. All right, hold on. This hurts my brain. Right there. There. Right, because then he goes there. He goes there. This is so confusing. But there is a system here. Okay. Oh, I should just do it from up here, probably. No, I'm sliding. Never mind. Right, he goes there. He goes there. Okay, now let me climb up here and see if those are all... Well, let me finish these off first. Would be nice to temp turn off belts. Like the rendering of them, you mean, or? Isn't it cool, Miss Beeps? Like, setting up this whole process is... It's tedious, but it's also... Very interesting and almost mathematical. Let me see if I can climb up. Alright, we need to zoop. Zooping! I said zooping. Look at that. We've got the process down now. I got it. I know how to line them up perfectly now. That looks so good. Pro, right? Right? Or something. Something like that. Ow. Ow. Okay. <laughs> exactly, Ms. Beeves. Okay, I need 
rods to continue because we're going to make this out of rods. <clears throat> Might as well send the rods all the way down. God, it's like one pixel. There we go. Right, right, right. And then there. Okay. <laughs> He's or something. Yes. Yes, he is. Okay. Sorry. So now we do splitter off of buh. I mean, I know what's going to happen here, right? I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this and it's not going to snap. Yeah, whatever. Don't care. Doesn't have to be perfect all the time. Look at the little bits going down. I know. Isn't it satisfying? Uh, okay, same deal. Oh, we need to zoop. We almost plummeted to our death there, kids. Uh, let me do this from over here. Uh, I shouldn't have to. If I'm trying to place foundation over foundation, it should just like, yeah, you're good and not prevent the soup. Can you 2D zoop? Uh, no, I see what you're saying. Like I can't go out and then over. That would be amazing. I did try that last night. Starting to come together. I'll be excited when the first floor is done. I, I like the first floor is is just iron now. Smelting, plates, rods, and screws. There's definitely a lot of planning ahead going on here. I, I hope it pays off. It probably won't. Uh oh, I'm out of I'm out of plates already. Man, we're ripping through the plates to build this thing. Who? Oh, pro. Look at that. Fake all. I'm already not making plays fast enough now. He actually does have a strategy. I know, right? Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. More zooping. So, yeah. Next time we play, we'll probably do a little bit more exploration. Even though we don't need to. I just think it'll be fun. Um, I'll have the first floor done and maybe we'll work on a little bit of the factory exterior as well as thinking what more resources we need and start trucking those in or something like that. Oh, I know. I know my conveyors are bottlenecking me because I'm, I'm building so much now without upgrading. I need to get to like tier three conveyors or what I really need to do, honestly, absolute truth what I really need to do is automate reinforced plates so that I can start making everything mark two conveyors that's kind of like my first goal here I'm going to do rods then screws and then I'm guessing reinforced plates will be the first thing I do on the second floor uh, and then once that's done then I can make a sweep back and start upgrading everything to mark two conveyors it's going to be frustrating because I'm going to have to upgrade this factory like five times every time we unlock a new thing. And it's going to take about an hour to two hours probably to upgrade the whole factory. Tier three conveyors just use steel beams. Well, maybe I just jump right to that then. Right. I, I just unlocked. I just unlocked steel. So I'm guessing I don't have the tier three things yet, though. But I'd imagine tier three might not be. You always skip to, to Mark three. Okay, cool. That's good to know that all you guys are telling me to do that. I appreciate that. Uh, all right. Again, more, 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 more of these. It is repetitive. I do apologize, but it's got to be done. We'll say like that. So that give me enough space for poles and stuff. Yep. Okay. Let's get a constructor in here. Is he going the right way? Yes. Line up. Oh. Mark two, not really worth it. Plus, it'll be just as, it'll be even that much more fun when when we jump to uh, to Mark three. Everything will be just like super zoomy. <clears throat> you 
need more storage on your belts oh you mean actually integrate storage containers on the belts uh i don't know that i want to do them on the belts i could see though i mean that's an interesting concept just for giggles what if i put because it would be a systematic change which would be kind of cool what if i did like hang on every line has an automatic built-in buffer well i can't because you can't snap these on like you can mergers and splitters but like what if they were just like right there and aesthetically i think they would look pretty cool too because they would okay oh, i probably can't put them on the on the racks here can i let me see what if it's kind of a pain right can i can i put that oh hold on i would have to i have to zoop this up first can i put these on later zing yeah no these don't go on there really whoa whoa legs what i'm so confused but can i zoom i can't zoom these but check this out maybe that's a thing right there right it does mean i gotta connect that to that but Get rid of that thing with that. Where are you? Oh, it is over there. Just integrate storage silos in there. There's really no reason not to, but that way, if anything ever backs up, boom, it automatically. So it's not my storage system, but it's kind of a. I kind of like that. But I should only do it in one place and i can walk under it yeah i love the little legs oh it would make it difficult to put things back onto the bus line but mostly that's done at the end of every segment like down there not in the middle so i think i would do one of these on every floor check the side by side see if they clip okay i think we're gonna be good oh yeah, it does look like there's a little bit of clip action, but I mean, maybe I'm okay with that. Is that even? Oh, no, it's not even going to let me. Oh, no. Grr. I could stagger them. Yeah. Right. So this one would go. Let's see here. Uh, oh, man. This is difficult. How do I line this up? So I want it to line up with that, but be up in the air. If I put this guy here, can I then place it on that conveyor? So then now we want to do, give me that. Can I place that on there now? Oh, oh, but it's red. Hold on. Turn it around. Oh, it doesn't like it. That's not right, though. That's not what I did before. Anyone know how to do this? Like, I really like those legs that we got. How did I get those legs? How did I do that? I don't remember now. Bring the base stand thing. Oh, is it using the conveyor system? Okay. So if I go... If I just put one of these... Like right... There...
And now... Yup, 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 yup. Why do you keep ro- what is this? Why? Don't rotate all crazy town like that. Oh! Did it turn blue there for a second? No, it's still got- Come on. What am I doing? Oh, does this need to be- I gotta zoop this guy up. Is that what you're saying? Probably. Zoop that up. Now give me this. Is it... There we go. It's that, but he's not allowing it to turn red. No, it's not that. It's lower than that. I don't know. What did I do? You got it perfectly next to the first one for a sec there. Right? Like, I could do this one again, probably. Let me let me see if I can... Hold on. Let me zoop this one up here. Dot. Dot. Give me this. So that... And I can't even put that on the side there either. So... Was it because I had track there? Come on. Now it's not even... What did I do? I love this right here. I want more of this. Is that the same height? Or is that too tall? I think it's the same height. There were no belt. You didn't have belts in the first place. Okay. I thought I just like added it right here. Oh. Kinda, sorta? Yeah, but it's red now. Floor is too steep, overlapping the clearance of... Oh, do I need to take this out? Man, it's tricky. Can't, I can't do it. What's up, Satan? How are you? First build the storages, then the belts. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get the legs built on this guy. Because then, yeah, I would I would go like... I would stagger the columns and do like one, three, five, seven. And then on the other side, do the even number uh, rows. But now I'm not even able to like get this replicated again yet. I don't know what that magic was. It's frustrating. Auto attached to an existing one. Like right there, it lifts it up. Man. This isn't the way we so expand storage later. I mean, yeah, I know there's like industrials, right? That have double. It's more just the concept. Yeah, Kings, we're definitely working on the real factory now. Stack two from the ground with the lower one. I think. I think that's too... Yeah, that's a different height. It's not the right height now. I don't know. Okay, I'll have to think about that. But I really like that. Because it's almost like a secondary storage. I don't want it to be my final storage, but if I want... Right, because there's signs later on and stuff. I could just come in here and have like a nice buffer of everything. Interesting, yeah. Stack foundation to get the height. I mean, I guess, but that feels like I'm just guessing at the height now. Where before, it definitely snapped. Like, there's a way to do what I did here, because I did it. <coughs> and I shouldn't have to... I don't know. Those legs are cool. Anyways, I think I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. It's been uh, three hours or so, right? Uh, I'm going to get up and take a little break. 
Um, I'll probably play a little bit more tonight, but I want to thank you guys for watching. I know this was a lot of buildy buildy, but I hope you guys can see what I'm going for here. It's big. It's a lot. Three and a half hours. Yeah, it's a lot. That's, that's enough stream time. Um, so thank you. Thank you for all the support as always. Uh, tomorrow is a, I won't stream tonight. No. Tomorrow's going to be a double stream day though. We're going to do, yeah, we'll raid Joker. Definitely be streaming. Uh, tomorrow we're going to do Jits. We're going to do Phasmo in the early afternoon, starting at noon Pacific, one Arizona time. And then evening, it looks like I'm, I'm like 90% certain we're going to have a, uh, a stabby stabby tonight, which I'm like super excited about because it's going to be a little bit different. Should be good. Uh, so that's that. Let's raid Joker or mods if you can raid Joker because I always forget if his channel has an underscore in it or what. Is it Mr. Joker TV? Is there, is there any underscores, Mr. Joker TV? Someone know the exact channel name? You could type it. All one word. Boom. Did it work? Over here, over here. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Got it. Okay, cool. Mute this dashboard. Scotty, you got it. Thank you. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. All you guys that were watching me do this. Thank you so much. Sure. There's a little pop up. All right. Head over. Say hello to Joker, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some Phasmo. Super excited about that. It's always fun playing Phasmo with those guys. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.